All right, we him. Well, yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, kind sir. Because it get warm up here. Well, I'm in here, and we talking today. And what we saying like I'm real loud, am I? Because I elevate. Then when I elevate, then it, so I am real loud. How's it now? I'm not used to hearing myself that loud. How's that? Y'all can hear me? Who can? Lancaster, can you hear me? Y'all <laughs> good. I'm just making sure. He said, yes. You heard I said, I said, Helmberger Fry, Agent yeah, Chief. He said, yes. <laughs> I know he can hear. He like my granddad. My granddad couldn't hear shit. Then you would even, we all like, granddad, the food ready. He said, you said the food ready? Man, you talk all around my granddad, he couldn't hear nothing. As soon as you say, you'd be like, granddad, the food ready. He said, what you said, the food ready? So he had that selected hearing. My granddad didn't want to talk to nobody. He walk up, he know, he had, what, was it, 78 of us when he died? He, walked, he said, hey, Tony. Like, granted, he'd be like, damn, you still talking. When I said, hey, that was first in and all the comments, that was all the comments. He had no like no comments. He said, hey. <laughs> in the conversation, you be talking, you talking to yourself. He just didn't believe in talking to kids. I don't know if they got on their nerves or something. After my mama, that ran in crazy. All right, we're going to talk. What we're going to talk about today? Let's see. What do y'all? What are y'all? Book of Luke, as they'll call it. Kim has a friend. I look around and have a... Nah, 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 nah. How y'all doing? How you doing, sir? Doing all right? You thought we weren't going to say nothing? That's all right. Ken, did you tell everybody we're crazy? All your family were crazy? All of them. Did you tell all of them were crazy? Except for me, right? Because they're all crazy. Every one of them. Including me. <laughs> That's fine. Or do y'all. They're called the book of Luke. Or do y'all chapter 14, verse 25. Y'all all right? All right, let's see something. Let's see what the book says. Listen. Okay, and there went great multitude with your mic up. And that needs to go a volume. Is it the van? It says your mic on the van. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Let's listen. And there went great multitudes. And what happened? With him. Yeah. And he turned and said unto them. What did he say? If any ish come to me. That's what we're going to look at. Great multitude. He said in any ish, which will be if any man come unto me. What do you want to do, son? And hate not his Abba. Uh-huh. Which is his father. And when, um, his um, which is our word, the um, the Abari word for mother. And what happened, son? And Asha, see Asha, his wife. Come and on. Beni, or it's Beni, or even his son. What happened? Or his children. What happened? And Aki, and his own brother. And um, Akuth, and his own, his own sister. <laughs> Listen. Yea, and his own life also. See, that's tight. That's tight. A lot of people ain't hard to hate a lot of these people that we heard. These different categories he give out of the different things you have to hate. And when it comes down to here talking about hating them, because when you love something, there's a willingness to do for it. So when you're talking about hating, when he's talking about following him, sometimes people take that. That didn't make sense to say hate something. We're not supposed to hate the book to teach you to hate the evil, love the good. So now he's talking about when it comes down to what you're required to do and it comes down to the plan of salvation. So you put all these different things in, because these are the major things a lot of times people are going to deal with when you start to look at what keeps and hinder us from being saved. Typically, it's going to be a relationship you got with your parents or with your children or with a wife or even with your own self. Y'all got me? And listen to what he said. He cannot be my Medidas. See that? He can't be one of my followers. And he can't be a student. So we all have to sit down. And I tell you guys periodically how important it is for you to actually sit down you have to really do a list periodically or go back over the different things you have. Insurance companies will do that. Anybody familiar with insurance? Some people ought to be a little more familiar than others just doing this past week. But typically what a good agent will do, a good agent will call you and say, hey, just doing a follow-up with you, want to see it was about that time for renewal. Want to see it, want to sit down and just go back over your policy. Let's just look because as you look, sometimes things will grow in value. Some things will decrease. 
Now, or you'll take on some other things and you haven't looked at it. And when you sit down and go with an agent, they can go back over your parts and look and say, based on what you have, you're really not covered the way you think you are. Well, that's what happens when we take the book. We go back to see exactly where you covered at. A lot of time when people, um, most of the majority of the time, when people find out that they lack sufficient coverage, it went somehow happen in an accident. I was telling Bryce about um, a little bit about insurance riding over. I was telling him about how um, if I was in an accident, if he was in an accident with me, I said, I have full coverage insurance. I said, well, if somebody hits me and they have no insurance and I don't have uninsured motorists, I say, we're not covered. So a lot of times people don't know that full coverage don't just cover you if somebody hits you without insurance. It just covers you if you're at fault. You got me? So you weren't at fault. Somebody was at fault. Your insurance don't cover you. That's why you get uninsured motorists. I said, well, say if I don't have uninsured motorists, although I have full coverage and I'm not at fault. I said, well, there's no insurance. I, he said, well, I have to sue you then since the other person. I said, you can't sue me because I wasn't at fault. I just don't have uninsured motorists. I said, now what would happen if you had uninsured motorists, your uninsured motorists would cover you in the event that I didn't have sufficient insurance nor did the people that hit me had insurance. But a lot of times people don't realize that after things have happened. You got me? So that's how well you got to be covered when it comes down to your salvation. Whoever fault, whatever the situation, whatever the outcome is, you're still covered. And that's how you want to be when it comes down to the plan of salvation. You always want to make sure that whatever situation you're in, as Shaul said, I learn how to be hungry, I learn how to be full. I learn how to be exalted, I learn how to be obeyed. He said, whatsoever state I'm in, they're with. And that's the same thing when we look at salvation. Salvation will cover you in any situation. You got me? But you've got to sit back and go back and look over your coverage. you got to look exactly what you have and where you got most of your assets at. Well, this is the thing when you look at what he's talked about these people. This is a major problem for the average of us, where our hearts are at. Y'all got me? He told you where a man's heart is, that's where what happened? His treasure. Isn't that right? That's where most, that's going to be his major concern and major protection. So when we come back and we hear the dabarim, which is the words, we try to go back to consider to make sure a lot of times we'll say where we're at in servitude, when truth come out, when we start to put into play and demonstrate, it'll actually show where our heart is. That's what the dabarim does, the word show. No matter what you say, no matter what your feelings are, when the word comes, it's going to find out where you're at. Let's see what the book told in the book of Abarim. It'll call it the book of Hebrews. Abarim 4 and 12. Make it 4 and 10. Uh-huh. Make it 4 and 11. Matter of fact, make it 4 and 10. Let's see what that say. Listen. For he that has entered into his rest. Say that. For he that had entered into who? His rest. Had did what? He also hath ceased from his own works. So what happened? As Allahim did from his. So that's the problem come with us. A lot of times you see what people do, you can tell they hadn't entered into his rest. In the, in the book of Matthew, chapter 11, in verse 28, he said, Come unto me, all you that are burdened and heavy. What? And what I'm going to give you? What do he want you to do? Do what? Take my yoke upon you. And then you got to learn of me. You got to learn of me. You got to learn exactly what my struggles are, where your hurdles are going to be. And what happened with a lot of us, people hadn't really learned them. In the fourth chapter of the book of Ephesians, in verse 20, he said, but you have not so learned the Mashiach. He said, if so did, that you have learned is the truth in him, you've been taught by him, then you will put off concerning the old man, which is corrupt. But a lot of times people don't consider A lot of people say they know because they know a couple of verses. You know what I'm saying? They can quote a couple of lines. But when you know of him and you've learned them, you can demonstrate. We talked about before, command of subject is always important. And a lot of times people just skim learn stuff. You don't actually grasp the whole concept of it. You just kind of skim over something and you think you know it. For us, when it comes down to your salvation, this is something you got to know. When he tells us all these different things, I had to consider it. I got a mother. I got a father. I got sister, brothers. I got all these different things. I even got a wife. And I got to consider where's my heart at when it comes down to when I'm being instructed, what I've been told to do. Y'all got me? So when we look at these things, these are all the things we got to consider. Now he just told me about, for he that had entered in his red has ceased from his own land, which means you don't have your own mind anymore. You've given up your mind. You've given up your ideals. Y'all got me? Things go come, but then what do we use to bat them down? Come back. Hmm? Well, th that's our weapons. Those are our weapons. The weapons are our warfare, not carnal. Through all into the pulling down, casting down. 
Don't mean nothing ain't gonna come. You don't ever get saved when stuff don't come up. Things don't appear. But what do you do? That's right. But you gotta know what, what do you do in the word when it comes? I gotta cast it down. I don't yield to it. When you say no, that devil ain't gonna stop you say, devil mover. I don't have them conversations. I don't have them some say to ask the devil to do nothing. Me and him not free. We don't talk. We don't talk. Don't some people have communication with, okay, devil, here we go this morning. He invited me. I just don't waste my time. I don't have them kind of conversation. Y'all hear me? <laughs> Get behind me. I had to keep moving. Y'all hear me? I don't have that type of time to keep kind of moving on. I got to keep moving. Y'all got to stay focused. A lot of people give too much time over to the devil and to his works. Y'all get me? Or being subject to him. Y'all got me? So now we want to make sure that we actually properly examine ourselves and see where we fall to at. Y'all got me? So since we've been told the different things he told us we got to get rid of or we got to dislike, and it, it got to be to a dislike, hate, just when it comes down to what he told us to do. You got me? Now we're looking at entering into his rest, you cease from your own labor. Listen. Let us, labor there. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. So look at that. Now he got you back working. Well, he said, you enter that rest, you cease from your own labor. But he told him, now we got to labor to do that. When Elohim got to the point of finishing of his works, he sat down, which means he completed something first. Well, what we try to do, the first thing we do is try to get in him and just stop. Well, we got to do, the only way I'm understanding is I got to understand what was taught us in the book about a sheep. He gave us creation and time, right? And that last part of it, he came down on Shabbat what did he say he did? From all his labor. He had to get there at that point, right? Well, now the book telling you to do the same thing. You're going to have to labor to get in that rest, which means you got to struggle, struggle, get through some hurdles, get past some ideas, get through some functionalities and other stuff you'll get, some temptations, some trial, some hatreds and other things that's going to come at you, going to try you, some job loss, some relationships, all these different things, so you can enter into that rest. That's what he had to do. Y'all got me? Okay. What did Yahushua had to come down here and do for us? Come on, brother. Do what? You said put on the what? He had to do what? Become a curse? Destroy the works? That's right. What else he had to do? Huh? The reproaches of them that reproach me? He said fell on him. Well, all this he was doing, it was labor. Everything he went through was labor. When he was being spit upon, when he was being slapped, when he was being beaten, when he was being stripped, when he had a crown of thorns, all this was labor. How did he get to the rest? After he finished, he told you, it is finished. So I labor. Well, now the book tells me to therefore let us labor to enter into that rest. So which means I got to look at taking on suffering. Because now he's going to tell me that about a man taking on his cross. To get to that point that you can say it's finished. And a lot of times we had not even got started. That's why, that's why our real plight comes in there. A lot of people hadn't started. And, and when you're warring, you, hadn't, you can't strive for mastery because you hadn't done it lawfully. That's the whole purpose of learning the law. So when we do these different acts, of we know we condemn. A lot of times you got people got that, I feel like he wrong. Based on what? It's just something in me. The hell with what's in you. If you're going to condemn something, you can't, a judge can't go inside and give you why. Because it's just something telling me, you got to use the law. The law not based on it's not supposed to be based off opinion. It's supposed to be off, it's supposed to be based off what's facts. Y'all got me? And that's the whole thing when you ask people what they don't like or what they like. A lot of times it's not based on facts. We'll put up back to what words y'all learn. Homogeneous. Uh, arbitrariness. Y'all got me? It's not based on facts. Y'all got me? Oh, y'all finna be in trouble now. Damn it. Not facts. Y'all got it? That's how you hint all that. I ain't worried about English anyway. Hell, it's so wrong. It was wrong when they started speaking it. Y'all all right? So it's not based off facts. Y'all got me? And that's what we want to look at. We don't want to sit here and allow a lot of things we do. When you start doing stuff like this is what white people do to us. A lot of time our condemnation, our hatred for ourselves have been because of arbitrariness. Because people have been giving us their ideals, their opinions. And we had never looked at what's facts. It hadn't been systematic or anything. It just meant how they felt about us, what they said about it. And then we know what, what's, what's dangerous for us. We actually became subjective, which means we gave ourselves over to other people's opinions. Subjective. That's what we've done. That's what we've done with his maps. That's what we've done with his, his ideology. 
Y'all got me? That's what we've done to it. We just became subjected to it. It's all opinions. It's not facts. White people spew stuff out of their mouth. They don't make it right because somebody white said it. When we come down to what we believe, there's supposed to be a difference. Let's see what happens. In Romans 3 and 3, right quick. Make it Romans 3 and 1 first. Romans 3 and 3. Make it 3 and 1. Other, uh, other, I can give me the book of Romans chapter, Romans chapter 4. Give me about verse 11. Romans 4. Listen. What adventure then have the Yehudi? What did we talk about? Um, superiority position. That's what we're looking at advantage. Superiority position. What advantage had then the who? The Yehudi. Yehudi, not a Jew. Listen. Or what profit is there of circumcision? What gain is it in being circumcised? Listen. Much every way. Listen why? Rosh. Because, because that chiefly, mainly, because what happened? That unto them were committed the oracles of Allahim. See, they're divinely inspired. Y'all got it? That's what we got. We got something that was inspired. So we're going to look at the scripture. We're going to look at the written word. He didn't give us the written word for us to do our stuff based off of uh, being uh, subjectiveness or, or their arbitrariness. Y'all got it? We got the scripture for the fact of when we do things, we can base it off of a system. Y'all got me? We can judge something. We make a judgment. It has to be according to something. Listen. For what if some did not believe? That's their, that's their right. Listen to what he's saying. Shall their unbelief make the faith of Allahim without effect? See that? I don't care if the people don't believe what I'm telling them. That's their, that's their problem. It don't make the faith of what Allahim going to do without effect. What are you going to do? They're still going to hell. I don't believe everybody going to hell. You ain't got to believe they're going. He ain't got to believe these people going to hell. The majority of people going to hell. They learn that, and it's factual. You shouldn't believe nothing you read in the book then. If you don't believe these people going there, you shouldn't believe the story concerning what you're going to call Noah's daughter. Because more people were destroyed than they were saved. Only saved eight people. Eight people were saved, and you got a problem with thinking all these people going there. Because you're retarded. Went to the, you can't believe the story of Simon and Gomorrah. You, the man only came out with three people. Him and his two daughters. He had a wife and son-in-laws. Three people came out, he destroyed the whole city. I don't know why it's hard for these people believe these people going to hell. But like he said, but what if some did not believe? Don't make your unbelief without a, make the faith of Allahim without effect. Allahim said what? Forbid. He said certainly not. Yea. Let Allahim be true. But every who? Ish, a liar. He said every man a liar. Your mama a liar. Your dad a liar. Your grandmama a liar. Make every one of them a liar. Tell them why, son. As it is written. As that's what we're going. Why he didn't say as arbitrariness? That's cracker's word. This don't make you smart because, you know, this is a cracker word. Ain't that right? Crackers ain't even good unless you got something with them. Listen. That thou mightest be I hear somebody justified. trying to condemn and you'll be all right. <laughs> Listen. In thy sayings. See that? So you might be what now? Justified in thy sayings. So what's going to make you justified? Thanks. You can back up what you're saying. That you can be justified in thy what? Saying. And overcome. And mightest overcome. When thou art judged. What I care about these white people and these Negro opinion. When you ain't got no facts. And when it's all based on it. Some in me just tell me it's wrong. I can look your words up and tell you. You ain't had enough sense to look up nothing these white people told you. You just been sitting around following your whole life. That's why you in the mess you in. Y'all got white people just use stuff at random at will. They make up stuff. Throw stuff at you and make a fool. And you sit back and because you don't know what the meaning of You just automatically believe you a fool. You think crackers born knowing what, knowing what this word is. Go get a little white baby ass of arbitrariness. You know what that baby gonna do? Shit on itself. I don't know what you just said. You can teach a lie, like you can tell a lie. They don't make white people. That's, that's been our problem. That's why we've been in such a hole back our whole life. Because we've been subject to every definition that they've given us. That's, a, that's been a part of why they beat you down. They've been diagnosing you. Hell, you got more black people walking around thinking they got a mental problem because somebody white done diagnosed or some nigga done went to one of their damn coon colleges. Isn't that right? Teach you the name of five different pills and all of a sudden you think you can come and die. No, set your ass down. 
I don't let these folks die no more. You think I worry about these people telling me, hell, they got a problem. Right. Ain't that right? How you think you got a problem? They got a problem. Ain't that right? Let's see what he's told in the book of Romans chapter 4. The book of Romans chapter 4, verse 11. And we'll go back and finish this up. Give me the Auburn 4 and 10, and we'll come on and try to clean this up for you, give you some facts. Listen. And he received the art of circumcision. They talking about our father, Abraham, the art, the A-T-H, which is sign or directions. He got directions. Listen. A seal of the Sadiq, of the faith, which he had, yet being uncircumcised, that he might be the Abba of all them that believe. See that? The, uh, the seal. A seal can authenticate something. Huh? A yes, seal sir. can authenticate something, or it can swim in the water and, go, <laughs> and throw a fish. He received a sign. He received direction. Huh? To make him the Abba of all them that believe. Let's see what he told us. Though they be not circumcised, that Sadiq might be imputed unto them also. That imputed is accounted to them also. So we look at that because when we look at the, the Sadiq, which is the righteousness of Allahim, we look at how it worked when it came down to Abraham. Abraham received the seal or direction of circumcision because he believed. So he was trying to show you the circumcision did not establish his or make him believe. He already believed before he received it. So he looked at everybody that comes along and believe according to what's written. He said that you are counted as the seed of Abraham. Because he did not believe after he was circumcised. He believed before he was circumcised. You got me? But it was a sign. It was a sign. It was a seal to our people. Listen. And the Abba of circumcision to them who are not of the circumcision only. Listen. But who also walk in the steps of that faith of our Abba, Abraham. Look at that. That's what we're looking at. He moved. He moved with fear. Whatever he was told to do, he moved. He told him to get out of his father's house. He's going to make him a great nation. He did it. Come on. Everything he was told to do, he did it. See, now we're going to go back to look at where you step at, where you've been stepping and how you've been walking. Listen. Which he had being yet uncircumcised. See that? He had him, see, being yet uncircumcised. Listen. For the promise that he should be the heir of the Arats. Was what? Not to Abraham or to his seed, through the law. But what through what? The Sadiq of faith. See that? Through the righteousness of faith. It was not through the law. It was through the righteousness of faith. He believed. And he was going to establish them with some people that were going to believe him. The problem come in with us today, everybody don't believe. That's what we were just talking about in Romans 3 and 3. But what if some did not believe? A lot of y'all here don't believe. You think you believe, but you don't believe. Let's see what he said. Listen. For if they which are of the law be heirs. What happened? Faith is made void. Now you go find a Hebrew Israelite camp. We're not Hebrew Israelite. Don't say that. Don't call her no Hebrew Israelite. Don't call her that. We don't believe in it. Isn't that right? A lot of these people go up and they try to establish the law, establish itself, but the premise of what you should have gotten from the law was faith. That's what you should have gotten from it. A lot of people can go back and recite the law and they'll even go back to even obey the law, but they don't have the Siddiqua faith. That's the difference. You got me? That's why they can't find them in the scripture, because they don't believe. It's got to be so concrete for them. Faith is some substance of things hoped for, evidence of things unseen. What Abraham did, he didn't see it. You just been told to get out of your father's house, go and make you a great nation. Go where? Do what? When is it going to happen? How many I'm going to have? Is it going to happen tomorrow? Where am I going to get money from, gas money from? Who's going to take me? I got to go by myself? I can take somebody with me? So a lot of people don't believe. Abraham moved. He told him to go and make him a sacrifice. What did he do? Took his son, laid the wood upon his shoulder and took him on up there. Ain't that right? And you know what? Unlike these people do, they got to get somebody to go with them. He told them to stay down. He took the lad and he, him and the lad went. They said, why do you folks got to get somebody to go with them? Because they're not the seed of Abraham. That's what a lot of y'all in here do. Y'all get somebody to go with you, you won't be able to go. Ain't that right? When it came down to Moshawa, Moshawa was going to go. He just said, if your hood don't go up with him, he said, he won't go. I don't blame him. He said, if your president don't go with us, I won't go. Damn the other people. Yeah, they, when you come down to the plan of salvation, this is a self-journey. They just say, this is a self-journey. When y'all take the plight on and say, I'm going to be saved, I'm looking to actually make sure that my life is going to be captured up in the latter day and I'll live again, then you're going to look at everybody not going to have their mind. Right. People will go with you on this so far. Everybody ain't got no mind to be saved. That tight. The stuff you got to give up, the stuff you can't do, there's some stuff they do every now and then. This is a daily walk. This is a daily walk. It's, it's, every, it's all the time. It ain't a Shabbat miss. 
We don't miss a service. Ain't that right? We, we don't miss a feast. You can't, you don't have that option of, we have six flags. Or my family going out of town. Well, you and your family go to hell. So I keep wake up and live. Just like, you, know, you got to become part of your life. It ain't that type of people. This ain't no life everybody want to do. Ain't that right? When Yahushua had 84 disciples walk away, 84 Methodians, 72 walked out. He said, will you also go? 12 said, where we going to go? He said, you got the worst eternal life. Hey, look at that. That was them. You tell me 72 people walked off? 72 walked off? Because people don't go for so long. That's being honest. All right, listen. For if they which are of the law be heirs, what happened? faith is made void, listen. and the promise made of none effect. Listen. Because the law worketh wrath. Pay attention. What did the law do? Worketh wrath. Pay attention what the law do. The law worketh wrath, meaning once the law is violated, the law is transgressed, once a person has gone against the law, it worked wrath. That means if a man that dubbed these things, Musha said what? So you should live by him. You ought to die. That's when, see, people don't understand speech. When Yahushua in the seventh chapter of the book of, um, in the seventh chapter of the book of Mark, he began, they began to ask him why walk not his disciples, his Methodists, according to the tradition of them. When they came down to washing their hands of pots and cups and different things, he said, full well you reject the commandments of Yahuwah, that you may keep your own commandments by laying aside the commandments of, uh, the man aside the commandments of Yahushua, I mean of Yahuwah. Now he went down, he said, because Moshe told you in your law, that whosoever cursed father and mother, let him do what? That's the law. A lot of us here should be dead. That's the law. If you're going to live by the law, the law said you curse father and mother, he said let you die to death. But then what you say? Kaban. That's how they come up with Mother Day, Father Day. Hell, I'm cuss my mom out, kick my dad in the ass, let me go take him some. Let me get him a lawnmower. Let me get my mom a microwave. Huh, get a toy, all kind of shit we can cook for you. What kind of gifts is a damn lawnmower he got him cut the grass? Daddy ain't got no leg and no arm. What are you doing with a push lawnmower? Talking about, come over here. <laughs> don't worry about it. That's another one. But the fact is, we just sit around. We don't actually consider. But we look at, he said, you sit about where you start to lose effect with the law. So now he let you know that for a reason. He said, the law, the law working around. So tell him what happened, son. For where no law is. Where no what? Law is. Tell him what it is, son. There is no transgression. There ain't no law about what they call profanity. It's actually when you say something against something sacred. That's actually what for see white people had accountability had the 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 the, the, the uh, what I'm looking for deception the ability to use deception they can use words that random word you that's why whenever you use white people words you got to know word usage you got to know dates profanity actually meant speak, speaking against something sacred y'all got me if you speak against something that's of Allahim that's what profanity profanity is not shit damn and ass. They just told you that because white people need to give you some fear. See, they've been responsible. So many of our people going to hell are already damning themselves because if you look, everything you've been damning yourself about been by what white people give you. Everything they give you. Now, will we not agree that our book, what was written in ancient Abari? Well, then you got translations. And when they start to translate, they start to play with you. Now, this is an English version of your book. Let's see Yam Yahoo. Two and one, right? I just want to say something. Yarum Yahoo. Let's see what I'm all right. Yarum Yah Jeremiah, they call it. Let's see that what I want. We'll read down. Mm. Let's see. Yarum Yahoo. Chapter 2, Jeremiah, they would call it. Chapter 2 and verse 1. Listen. Moreover, the Debar of Yahuwah came to me saying, What did he say? Go and cry in the ears of Jerusalem. Yeah. Saying, Thus saith Yahuwah. Listen. I remember thee, the kindness of thy youth. What, what language is he speaking in? This is Aubrey? This is English. Listen. You said you heard Aubrey? Asa, Asa. Yes, sir, Asa. I had to speak back in his language. He said, Sasa, yes, sir. Listen. The love of Why they grow? They coming. Come on, listen. When thou wentest after me in the wilderness. Say that. When what happened? When thou wentest after me in the wilderness. What happened? In a land that was not sown. Yeah. Yasharal was Kudash unto Yahuwah. See what happened? He said they were Kudash unto him. What happened? And the first fruits of his increase 
All that devour him shall offend. Listen. Evil shall come upon them, saith Yahuwah. Yeah. Hear ye the debar of Yahuwah. Like what? O house of Yaakov. Yes, sir. And all the families of the house of Yasharon. Yeah. Thus saith Yahuwah. What? What iniquity have your fathers found in me? Yeah. That they are gone far from me and have walked after vanity and are become vain. Mm-hmm. Neither said they, Where is Yahuwah that brought us up out of the land of Mitzrayim? Yeah. That led us through the wilderness, through a land of deserts and of pits, through a land of drought and of the shadow of death, through a land that no man passed through and where no man dwelt. Yeah. And I brought you into a plentiful country yeah. to eat the fruit thereof and the goodness thereof. Yeah. But when ye entered, ye defiled my land mm -hmm. and made mine heritage an abomination. Yeah. The Kahan said not, Where is Yahuwah? Yeah. And they that handled the law knew me not. See what happened? He falls in bad shape. What happened? The pastors also transgressed against me. The Ra. He said, even they transgressed against me. Listen. And the Naba, Naba by Baal, mm -hmm. and walk after things that do not profit. See that? Prophesying ain't never soothsaying. But these crackers gave you words like that prophesy. Need to soothsay. Why would you be soothsaying? That's witchcraft. We would Naba, which means would be a steady flow. Isn't that right? But see, white people play with you and they give you these words and you'll assume that it has some type of spirituality with them and you'll assume you're getting something all you're doing is getting misled and misguided. Listen. Wherefore, I will yet plead with you, saith Yahuwah. Yeah. And with your children's children will I plead. Yeah. For pass over the isles of Chittim. Yeah. And see, and send unto Kedar, and consider diligently. What happened? And see if there be such a thing. Yeah. Hath a nation changed their gods? which are yet no gods. You see what happened? Look what happened. Go and see if the, go and see if Catholicism and got rid of Mary. That comes out of wrong. Either. Go see them. Go see if Asia got rid of Buddha. Go see if you can put Buddha. They'll still kill you. None of these nations have never gotten rid of their gods. Not, and there are no gods. They know damn well that little fat, pokey pig ass thing ain't nothing, and they ain't getting rid of it. Only nigga. We the only folk. He said, go pass over the house of these places. Go look over and just see if this ever happened before. Go see if any people have ever gotten rid of their God, which are no gods. There are no Allahim. They're gods. Gods is another Greek word for some false worship. None of these people have gotten rid of their gods. But what we do, son? But my people have changed their glory. For what? For that which does not profit. The hell I look like with Jesus. A earth pig. A Latin earth pig, and yet our people sat down and prayed to her. A white man would sit here and put in your faith, and this is what a nigga miss in mind of. He gonna argue the fact Jesus was black. I said, now you retarded. Yeah. Now you're gonna tell my pig is black. A earth pig, this is, this is how black people think they're smart. You know what I'm I know Jesus is black. He's a dumbass nigga. Why would you be reciting something that already is wrong? Jesus is the name of a ship. That's the name of an earth pig. Why would you want to change the color of it? It don't make it no better saying, I know mine is black. You just the dumbest they are. Yeah. It makes no sense. The color of Jesus has no salvation one way or another. It's no salvation in Jesus, period. Don't change the color for salvation. Right. It's just wrong, but black people can't think. You take every person, you tell them this, and you can show them fact. They got to pray about it. Right. This is how stupid that. Go stay on the spreadway and pray. <laughs> Damn traffic can't get your ass got the way before you even say amen. You ain't going to pray, you don't, you don't like that stupid. I'm going to close my eyes, I'm on the expressway. Well, why you close your eyes on Jesus? Right. You're on the expressway. Yeah. In heavy traffic. Come on, son. Be astonished, O ye Shamayim, yeah. at this, and be horribly afraid. Yeah. Be very desolate, saith Yahuwah. Yeah. For my people have committed two evils. Like what? They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters. That's what we done done now. That's what we done done. We done forsaken him, the fountain of living waters. What happened, son? And hewed them out cisterns. That do what? Broken cisterns. That do what? That can hold no water. That's what you done done. What you got? Won't hold nothing. At the book of Mark, chapter 2, at verse 22. Let's see that what I want. The book of Mark, chapter 2. See that verse 22. Listen. And no ish put of new wine into uh -oh. old bottles. No what now? Ish. Bad milk. Bad milk at verse 20. Listen. But the yamim will come when the bridegroom. The days will come when the bridegroom. 
shall be taken away from them. Yeah. And then shall they fast in those yamin. What happened? No ish also soweth a piece of new cloth well, on an old garment. What happened? Else the new piece that filled it up what do what? taketh away from the old, and the rent is made worse. Listen. And no ish putteth new wine into old bottles. Lest what happened? Else the new wine doth burst the bottles, and the wine is spilled, and the bottles will be marred, but new wine must be put into new bottles. And that's why we got to look at being new creatures. See, you're looking to try to possess the Ruach HaKadosh. And the reason you can't get it, the truth be told, you're still the same old bottle. You never change. There's never been no modification. In the third chapter of the book of Colossians, the book clearly, if you did be risen with the Mashiach, seek those things which are above, where the Mashiach sit on the right hand of the Abba. Set your affection on things above and not on things of your wrist. For ye are, and your life is hid. In the Mashiach. When the Mashiach, who is our life, shall appear, then shall we also appear with him in glory. What did he tell us next? Mortify. Mortify mean to kill out your members. Because he done told you this is an evil. Because you got cis trunks that can't hold water. It's not going to hold anything. That's why you don't have a real Hakadah. The average you, they're watching in, sitting here today. The reason you don't have it, because look at it. You done got a cis trunk that can't hold water. Why would he put it? He told you no man wouldn't do it. You think he's dumber than a man? He said ain't no man going to put no new wine in no old bottle. Who's going to go pick up a bottle out, look, out the garbage can, nasty, filthy, and going to put wine? When they take no bottle, they're going to put no bottle through a cleaner, through a purification. They're going to rip those labels and put new, new labels on them. They realize like it's not. Make sure it can stand the test. It's got to be tested. You just can't take it and wash it. Some of y'all will do that. Some of y'all don't even test it. You just stick it in that thing or you burn a damn hole in it. But the truth is, when it comes down to how he does that, he said new wine got to go in a new bottle. But the truth be told, what you've been working to do, you're trying to get the Ruach, which they're going to call the Holy Ghost, which makes no sense, which is a, a spirit of ghosts, which don't make no sense. The Ruach HaKadosh is, a, Kodosh is a spirit of separation for us. So in order for you to get it, then you're going to have to obey what you've been told. When did Abraham get circumcision? When was it given to him? After he what? After he did what? Obeyed. What sense would it make? He don't give me the Ruach HaKadosh and I had no obeyed. Because it was a seal. It authenticated his obedience. Well, the Ruach HaKadosh comes in after you have obeyed. What the novel Yashayahu tried to tell you, they have not all what? That's why they ain't got it. You ain't got no circumcision where you done separated yourself in heart and in behavior and you ain't got no Ruach HaKadosh. So we're just being practical with everybody here on what hinders you from being saved. Y'all are hold too many things. You try to carry more things than you need to carry I'm going to finish this Abarim, chapter 4, at verse 10, so I can move forward. Let's see how well you've been obeying. By the sheet on the other one. Come on, finish that up. By the sheet. Genesis, that they're going to call it. By the sheet. Chapter 3, verse 1. Listen. Abarim 4 and 10. Well, uh, jump on down. Give me verse 12. We do. Listen. For the debar of Allahim is quick and powerful. Sharper. Than any two-edged sword. Y'all see what the debar does? I cut people not again cut. They just don't know it. Against who they is. Listen. Piercing even to the dividing asunder. See that piercing. And that cutting right through to the dividing. A what? Of soul and ruach. And there's a what? And of the joints and marrow. And do what? And is a discerner of the thoughts Don't and intents know that of the book heart. They're going to find every one of us out. They're going to find everybody in ten of him. They're going to know what's in your heart. When that Dabarine cut, it show what's in your heart. You can't hide. But someone, you be just, uh, that heart be, when that heart go to the heart, say, we can't look like that. Now that heart be, uh-uh, that thing cut, that thing tight. That thing hidden, isn't that right? You who will see me, isn't that right? That's why I come. I like it like that. Because I want to make sure I'm right. I'd rather get cut and get right on this side than to come up in the judgment later on I go to hell. A lot of people don't really lay the importance of going to hell. They're thinking if you're a good person, if you try, it don't matter. They think this hell, this is prison. You go 85 days and you get 14 days off a year for good behavior. You don't take no time off of serving all the If you ain't taking no time, if you take some time off for living, what you do? And what you do when you die? 
That's it. So if I cut off from Elohim to take a time off, to take a vacation, to take a trip, I miss around, I'd be dead. Hmm? He done told me I don't live by bread alone, but by every word proceed out of your mouth. So when I take off? When is it okay for me to miss? See, if I believe it, I'm going to take it for what he said. He said, this is how I live. Every word that proceeds out of their mouth. But everybody don't see it that way. Let's see what else. And there's a discern of the thought and intent of the heart. Neither is there what? Any creature. That is not what? Manifest in his sight. For all things are what? Are naked and, and open. With who? Unto the eyes of him. With whom? We have to do. If you ain't got nothing to do with him in your mind, you'll think you dressed. Come on, let's see what happened. By the sheet three and one. Oh, don't get me by the sheet two and sixteen. And then somebody can tell me why I put it like this. Listen. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. More than what? Go ahead. Which Elohim had made. Mm -hmm. And he said unto the Asha. What did it say? Yea, hath Elohim said, ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the Asha said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. But what happened? Of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden. Who has said? Allahim hath said, ye shall not eat of it. Neither. Shall ye touch it. Listen. Lest ye die. Listen. And the serpent said unto the Asha. Had what? Ye shall not surely die. What happened? For Allahim doth know. In the wind. That in the yum ye eat thereof. You shall what? Then your eyes shall be opened. And what you going to do? And you shall be as Allahim. Being a transgressor and a sinner. This is what sinners will convince your mind of. You still okay when you're wrong. This is what, what is a sinner going to tell you? A sinner always convince you it's all right. I don't see it that way. I don't, I don't think it like that. Everybody don't see it that way. What is a sinner going to tell you? The day you transgress, the day you miss, you serve a God. If you miss, you going to hell. My God ain't like that. My God everywhere. That's the problem. Your God ain't got no business everywhere. Who I serve don't go here well. Your God will go to the whole house. He, him, right? he be in the crack house because he a damn crackhead. That's who would be in the crack house. What the hell I'm doing in the crack house? So they, they God be in the club. Oh, sorry ass. Jerry killed you slanging every damn well on the table. That's their God. He go here well. That's what's sad with these people. They, why, is, why are you sir, going everywhere? There need to be some limit. Why does he tell you not to do something he going everywhere? They ain't got no, they ain't got a brain when they recite stuff. They got to sit here watching naked women pole dancing. Damn, if I had some money, they got slobbing yeah. at the strip club. Yeah. Sliding across the damn floor of Jane Brown. <laughs> Playing Beyonce. Yeah. Pissing on a little baby like R. Kelly. Yeah. Your body <laughs> is a port of party. They got a damn, and R. Kelly. Allahim, I sir, wouldn't do it. That's right. Though I made fun of that God, Allahim wouldn't do it. I know he ain't in there. I know he wouldn't go in there. I told them for when they came down to what they did. And I told them all the trees of the God, they could freely of that one now. Told them don't eat it and don't touch it. It's restrictions. Yeah. How the hell are these folks going to tell you they can go and do anything which don't make sense when he told me to God and they can't do everything? Right. I gave them what to do and I gave you the thing not to do. This is a law and a statute to us. Listen. Knowing Taub and Rasha. See, knowing good and evil. Listen. And when the Asha saw that the tree was Taub for food. And what? That it was pleasant to the eyes. And one to make one what? And a tree to be desired to make one wise. What did she do? Took of the fruit thereof. And did what? Eat. And who else she gave it to? Also unto her husband with Dumb her. Dumbass man. Get left. Me and get left. I'm so bad. We in bad shape. We in bad shape. Listen to what he said. And he did eat. He did eat. Listen. And the eyes of them both were open. And what did they know? That they were Ara. Listen, they knew they were naked. Listen. And they sewed fig leaves together yeah. and made themselves aprons. Uh huh. And they heard the voice of Allahim walking in the garden in the cool of the yum. And what happened? Adam and his Asha hid themselves from the presence of Allahim. Y'all hear what they did? They heard the voice coming. And they hid themselves in the garden among the presence of the tree. And what happened? Elohim called unto Adam and said unto him. What did he say? Where art thou? And what did he say? I heard thy voice in the garden. And what you do? I was afraid. And did what? Because I was Ara. And what you do? I hid myself. You know what happened? Word was quick. Yeah. 
Power, shot, cut them. They knew it. That's why they ran to hide. They like, can't hide, son, I can't hide. They ran. They realized we naked. He let them know. This is what he told them. And he said. He said, what is that you got on? I can't see you. Who, what is, who told thee that thou wast Ara? You see how he told them they had on fig leaves? He didn't even mention the fig leaves. You know why? I still see you. Wouldn't have made no sense to have that conversation. Wouldn't have made no sense to have that conversation. You know what he wanted to ask them? He, what did he ask them? Who told thee that thou wast Ara? Because I'll be damned. I see you and you're naked. I see you and you're naked. Y'all don't believe that? That's why he didn't talk about the fig leaves. They put on the fig leaves. They thought they were here. Dresses and scarves, pants and long sleeves, they don't hide you. I see you. All he wanted to know was, who told you you were naked? I see you. Who told you that? I see you. You got on fig leaves. You still naked. That's who they're talking. Kazoom. Kazoom 3. 16. Oh, they're going to get me. Um, what's that? Who? All are uh, Shemut. Thirty-two. Eh, jump down about seven. Let's just show you something. I can prove out what I teach, though. Yes, sir. Let's jump on. We'll hit Kazun right quick. Kazun three and sixteen. They'll call Revelation. Other one get me. They're gonna call it Exodus chapter thirty-two, verse seven. We'll prove it out one way or another. Isn't that right? Listen to the book. So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, Listen. I will spew thee out of my mouth. Talk to me. Because thou sayest, What's that? What happened? I am rich. And what? And increased with goods. And have what? And have need of nothing. What happened? And knowest not that thou art wretched. Pay attention. And miserable. And what else? And poor. And tell them what else? And blind. Uh-huh. And naked. You tell me somebody rich don't have need of nothing walking around with no clothes on. That's somebody full of clothes. Why would you be saying you rich? Why would you be saying you don't need nothing? Because you already got everything. He said, you know you're poor. You're miserable, you're blind, and you're naked. Because you're so stupid, you don't realize, I see you. Listen. I counsel thee to, to buy of me gold tried in the fire. For what reason? That thou mayest be rich. And do what? And white raiment that thou mayest be clothed. Listen what happened. And that the shame of thy nakedness doth, not, what? doth not appear. Got on clothes and still naked. I got both what I'm teaching. Let's go here. I got to conclude the matter. That ain't enough for you. I know it ain't enough. Come on, son. Ooh, all I should move. Chapter 32, verse 7. If I had a skill with this, I'd be dangerous. I'm thinking about, well, I don't want to do that. Let me think about it. Yeah, it ain't take that long. Kind of like a good poop. Once it's gone, it's out of there. You ever seen somebody pull a poop back? Once it's gone, it's gone. It's out of my mind. Go and sign up for somebody's seminary school and learn how to teach people to go to hell. Ain't that right? It's out of mind. Let's see what he told you. This is Ooh Allah Shamut, chapter 32, verse 7. Listen. And Yahuwah said unto Musha, What did he say? Go, get thee down, for thy people, which thou broughtest out of the land of Mizraim, yes. have corrupted themselves. Listen. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I done commanded the same them. Thing. This, y'all in the same boat. We'll finish it. Listen. They have made them a molten calf and have worshipped it and have sacrificed thereunto and said, yeah. These be thy Allahim, no, O that's their God. That's your gods. That's their gods. That's what anything you got that's not Allahim is a god. A god is a false worship, false, a false idol. And our people don't know when these white people gave you these words that take from the Greek. We have no idea what we know. We just take it thinking God is something spiritual. God is something they made up. Allahim is his name, is his title. He is the mighty one. But they're giving you something to make a fool. You take dog, take God and treat it. Ain't nothing but a dog. That's all white people give you. God ain't never did nothing for you. Jesus never done nothing for you. It's been all Ahim. Through his son, Yahushua HaMashiach. And they calling us back. We lost the knowledge. We lost the information we wanted. You was a slave. It's like one of them sent me a thing with Mason. saying, when did white people ever give you the best education? When? When did white people ever give you the best medicine? When did white people give you the best neighborhood? Why in the hell would they give you the best God? 
That don't even make common sense. I'm going to give you the right religion, then I'm going to damn you on medicine, damn you on the food, damn you in the neighborhood, and damn you in the school. But this right. The thing that can save you. That if you actually got command, you could call and come back to mind and you could be over them. Why would I give you that? White people didn't want you to know how to read. You still don't know how to read. Man, take the same damn word and tell you, did you read it or has it been read? <laughs> stupid ass. Yeah. Play with you anyway, he can use it however he want to use it. Just show you how stupid you are. Yeah. You try to do it, you're in trouble. Can't pro knowledge, but you can be a damn professional. Why man just make a fool out you? Huh? Right. And tell you about the pros and cons. I already see the damn con. Right. Everyone needs books he educates you from. Ain't a black face of signature pin them damn books. Them crackers write them books. Right. Cracker that gonna dominate the minds of people of our color. And you got to wake up, you got to look at these people, how these people use it, and ain't none of them innocent that sat back and don't say shit about it either. I'm sick of it. They got to denounce it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't dare cover for no black man walk out here and kill no damn white baby. Hang his ass. He wrong. He just as wrong as a crocker that'll hang a black baby. They don't cover no damn black man rape no white woman tell me there's one back. It's wrong. That's right. My judgment right. I talk about that crock, I say the same thing to a damn nigga. Make me no difference. Y'all got me? Yes, sir. Your judgment got to be right. Crocker still raping and gunning us down. A black man go gun a white woman down or rape her while he wrong. Turn around, white folk don't say shit. Listen, I love this thing. It right. Which I keep happened? it right and tight to the line. I don't go along with that shit, folks, sitting around here praying for nobody ass doing wrong. Turn and repent. Same thing I had to do. Stop praying and stop playing. Get your mind up and do right and obey. Yeah. Man, white folks sit around and teach you against me. I'm your best friend. Yeah. I teach a woman, a man, how to conduct themselves. Yeah. I teach every, I don't care what race of I can teach any one of them. I ain't none of them above me. I can teach any one and teach them how to and show them I can love them. I don't go along with nothing wrong. What I say one time, hell, I can say it too. That's our law. At the mouth of two or three women, he said, let every word be established. Heard somebody went and sent one of my tapes out while I told them folks to kiss my ass, wanted them to hear. Hell, all you do is ask me. We got to keep playing. We all said kiss my ass. You going to disobey this book? You going to come against all that? Kiss my ass. And your white and black Jesus. That's right. That people been going wrong so long, it's ridiculous. Yes, sir. Somebody, you said the same thing. You tell somebody to give you a kiss, your breath stink. What you just said? Kiss my ass. Same thing. It's just which is easier. Isn't that right? Ain't it true? They don't like that, it's true. All right, listen. Which chapter? Who all out Shemu, chapter 32. What are we at, verse 9, verse 10? Verse 8. Verse 8. Come on, son, let's roll. Which have brought thee up out of the land of Mizraim. Listen. And Yahuwah said unto Musha, what did he I tell have him? seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Listen. Now therefore, let me alone, that my wrath may wax hot against them, and that I may consume them, and I will make of thee a great nation. Listen. And Musha besought Yahuwah his Allahim and said, Yahuwah, why doth... Thy wrath waxed hot against thy people. Tell them why. Which thou has brought forth out of the land of Mizraim with what, great power. What did he know? And with a mighty hand. Yeah. Wherefore should the Mizraim speak and say, For mischief did he bring them out, yeah. to slay them in the mountains, and to consume them from the panim of the Arats. Turn from thy fierce wrath and repent of this Rasha against thy people. Listen. Remember Abraham, Yatsukut, and Yasharal, thy servants, to whom thou swearest by thine own self, and saidest unto them, I will multiply your seed as the stars of Shamayim, and all this land that I have spoken of will I give unto your seed, and they shall inherit it forever. And see, that's in your law, but that was talking about the Siddiqua faith. So he didn't tell you about all of the law, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not commit adultery. He told him, remember, Abraham, Yasaku, the men who he promised and over. 
that he was going to grant them the land. That's by faith. That's what we're living for now. Believe he's going to do it. But guess what was contingent upon us doing it? You had to obey the law. Yeah. See, you had to believe it, but the only way for you to get it, you were going to have to obey the law. That's what they mess up at. They said, see, we don't have to obey the law. Your mama. That makes no sense. You did have to obey the law, but he was telling you something that was concerning the righteousness of faith. What was going to make you righteous was the fact that you obeyed the law. They so dumb. There's some dumb people. They're always trying to get out of something. So they're going to condemn me. Use law. Don't use your mouth. And please don't use no white man law. Please don't use no white man law. They got a book and call it Black's Law. How the hell is somebody going to condemn? Y'all don't know. Their law book is called Black's Law. How the hell a white man going to condemn me with Black's Law? It insults my intelligence. Listen. And Yahuwah repented of the Rasha, which he thought to do unto his people. Listen. And Musha turned and went down from the mount, and the two tables of the testimony were in his hand. The tables were written on both their sides, on the one side and on the other were they written, and the tables were the work of Allahim, and the writing was the writing of Allahim graven upon the tables. Listen. And when Yeshua, and when Ye Yahusha, well, I know he lost his mind, Yeshua. You're speaking Greek, Latin. And Yahusha, when Yahusha, who they call Joshua, his name is Yahusha, listen, heard the noise of the people, what happened? As they shouted, he said unto Musha, what did he tell them? There is a noise of war in the camp. What happened? And he said, listen what he told them now. It is not the voice of them. See that? It's not the voice of them. That shout for mastery. He didn't, it's not the voice of them that was shouting because they got in the victory in a fight. What else? Neither is it the voice of them that cry for being overcome. He said, neither are they crying out because somebody done overtook them. Tell them what happened, son. But the noise of them that sing do I hear. You know what he was telling you? Y'all should know that from your law. He talked about distinctive sounds. He would let you know distinctive sounds. The cry he would hear and he let them know they're not crying out because they just won a battle. Nor are they crying because they've been overtaken. These people down here celebrate. See how you got to pick up a distinctive sound? You know what the book told the book of EU? He opened their ear to discipline. See, when your ear opened to discipline, I could pick people's conversation up. My ear opened to discipline. I know what you're trying to say. See, when Yahushua heard it, he thought something had gone on. The people down there fight. Not at all. They down there celebrate. Listen to what happened. It is not the voice of them that shout for mastery. Yeah. Neither is it the voice of them that cry for being overcome. Listen. But the noise of them that sing do I hear. Come on, son. And it came to pass... As soon as he came nigh unto the camp, what did he do? He saw the calf and the dancing, and Musha's anger waxed hot, and he cast the tables out of his hand and break them beneath the mount. Listen. And he took the calf which they had made and burnt it in the fire and ground it to powder and strawed it upon the Maim and made the Bini of Yasharal drink of it. Listen. And Musha said unto Aharun, Listen to what he said. What did this people unto thee Listen. that thou hast brought so great a sin upon them? What you do? And Aharon said, Let not the anger of my Adani wax hot. Why? Thou knowest the people. That's he said, you know these people. Come on. That they are set on mischief. That's what y'all do. Ain't nothing changed today. The people the same way today. Y'all set on mischief. Listen. For they said unto me. Do what? Make us gods. Yeah. Which shall go before us. For as for this Musha, Listen. the Ish, that brought us up out of the land of Mizraim. What do we know? We what not what is become of him. We know what happened. Come on, son. And I said unto them. Do what? Whosoever hath any gold, let them break it off. So they gave it me. Then I cast it into the fire. And what happened? There came out this calf. That's how a nigga explain everything. That makes sense. Everybody broke it off. And it fell. As soon as it went, it just hit on the calf. No, you shaped it. You made that. Well, when you had Taylor, that black folk talk right now. They don't never give y'all the information. I just say, whoever got to go, break it out, put it in the fire. Yeah, they can. No, you shaped and you molded that calf. Let's see what happened. And when Musha saw that. What, the, that what the, happened now? And when Musha saw. What did he do now? Saw. What did he see? That the people were aura. He saw they were naked. That's what I taught you. I had to go around the block, show y'all got booked. Now, you think these people didn't have on no clothes? He saw them. As soon as he came out, he looked. He saw the people naked. 
So it's all book. Don't let people come and make a fool out of you. Everything I tell you, I can bag mine up with the book. When he came down, you know what he could see? The people were naked. With clothes on. So see, when you hear a car zoom, that's on God to bring you back and let you see what happened. That's the only reason he told them that they were naked, put on clothes. Because they thought they were dressed. He would let them know, I see you. You're naked. And what identify identified is the dabarim, the word. It's going to find us out. Yeah. Now he told them, neither did any creature that's not naked. In, it's naked in this sight. That's hidden in this sight. For all things are open and naked under him with whom we have to do. He's going to see you. That's what I'm trying to get y'all back to a point of seeing. He's going to see you at 2.16. By the sheet. Genesis, that they'll call it, 2 and 16. Book right now. Listen. And Yahuwah Elohim commanded the east, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of Ta'u and Rasha thou shalt not eat of it. For in the yum that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Y'all heard what he just told him? Now, the reason why we went down, I was trying to get you to a conclusion, trying to tell you what he told you. He declared the end at the beginning. That's why I gave you 3 and 1, 4, 2 and 16. Every person can't pick that up, though. I have a reason why I write the way I write. Huh? See, he told you what was going to happen before they got to this point. See, the day of the, that tree, they weren't supposed to eat it or touch it. The day you do it, you're going to surely die. So when you read 3 and 1, I already told you what was going to happen. You should have picked that up. I declared the end at the beginning. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. I declared the end at the beginning. Y'all all right? Yes, That's why he let you know. That's why I brought you back over here trying to tell you. I had a gay but let you know. He already saw the people with naked. That's why he could tell them, I'm counseling you to buy me gold, try and find it. That could be rich and put on white raiment and to sham your naked and doth not appear. Let you know. As soon as I came down, I seen you. He was declaring the end at the beginning. I already seen you. I already knew you naked. Boy, if I had a skill set. Think about that. I could take the show on the road. But a lot of times, people don't understand our right. That's why it's hard for people to keep with the conversation because people don't understand. When you come from a Christian dialect and you come from under these, and come subordinate under these crackers, a lot of times your mind still prison in the slavery type thing. You can't think free. When a white man say something, a white man declares something, hell, that's your automatic right. White man got him say shit down in there. You be like, that's something new now. Nigga go right. First thing they can do is put it in Rich, fulfilling, tasteful. <laughs> No, they, think they, they chew shit like bubble gum. White people don't think. When white people teach us something, I give them all the facts in the world. Take the white man book and show you. The man makes a fool out of you. Yep. And you ain't got no mind to think, to look and think. The man beat you, raped you, captured you, brought you. How the hell are you still in your mind saying, well, it was some good one. On that ship? Right. Nigga, your mind bad. Damn. How the hell are you on that ship you were good? Damn ship should have sunk. Can't listen to no stuff. That's crazy. That's crazy. Well, you sit around. How in the world you still sit around with love for the people that beat you and massacre you and rape you and falsely imprison you and lie to you and deny you and your dumb ass still running to a pole booth? You think you finna put this in the hands of a nigga? Whenever white people gave you something, they already knew it had no power when they gave it to you. They taught you about books and you couldn't read and nigga fought to read. They're like, they're like, hell, all the books are fairy tale. Go ahead, now you read it. Nigga, fault to read a damn book. Now you read the book, now you don't know. All you been reading the lies. You were taught through books that Christopher Columbus came to America, which he did not. Christopher Columbus landed over in the Caribbean. The people that he got there, he thought he, thought he had landed in India. He was in the Caribbean when he massacred those people. Those people were not in no damn India. He landed in the Caribbean. But now your book say he landed in America. Now is that the truth or a lie? Therefore, your book is a fairy tale. You were told your constitution was written and took it and docked it in in 1776. That's what you declared July the 4th. Is that not correct? Not true. Because they actually done it in 1777. Now, you have a book that told you 1776. If it's a lie, that means your book is a fairy tale. Nigga, quit it. Quit it. Nigga's too dumb for me. Niggas and white people too dumb for me. You don't let these people sit here and dumb you down. White man said, and tell you a fairy tale is something that got no, it don't have truth in it. Hell, the majority of history don't have no truth. You were told you were set free through the Civil War. Them folks weren't fighting for your black ass. That's right. Them folks were fighting about economics. That's right. 
Now you can't believe nothing. They put, everything I told, now you got to re-examine. Now you got to watch the black people that have been taught, that told you to lie, and look at what was your part in it. Now I got to look at the people that went to school, and I ain't even go to school, they're figuring, what was your part in the ring you sold this lie to me? What did this cracker give you to tell me these lies? White man, he taught us how to do shit. I don't think I'm talking to go to the bathroom and don't wash your hands. I hear a lot of y'all told their hand and foot mop. I know where it come up. I looked it up now. I had Brendan look it up for him. I want to know. I heard folks talking about, it's nothing. That's a damn lie. Come from y'all not these kids washing their hand and playing with damn thesis. I made these kids go, we got that stuff from white folks. I don't know. We taught white people how to bathe. We met white people, white people had feces on their body. We taught them how to bathe. They had feces. Lights in the head. They ain't nobody washing their hair no every day. We had to teach them all that. That's something you get don't wash their hair a week. Hell, that bugs start shooting out their head. Where did you get that shit from? Nigga don't wash their hair, just stink. Hey, Afro gonna dry up. Hair gonna look like Matthew when it ain't cut. Well, hell, I mean, that's just as bad. He cut it now. I told him, damn, that's some bad. You said come from your wife's side or your side? That's some bad ass hell. That shit just ball. They like they want to fight. They have to be like this. I don't give a damn. You be, like, be like, how you do your hair like that? I don't give a damn. You be like, for real? I don't know where it come from. When he cut it a little better down, cut it and keep it lotion. Ain't that right? But it, that's all we do. We'll knot it up, nap it up. That's going to be it. You ain't going to get no bud, not unless you sleep out doors. On that couch they got, you don't let that spider come out of there. But other than that, you should be all right. Other than that, you should be all right. Now, come on, look at this. All our house, Dabarine. Y'all all right? Wow. Something wrong with y'all people. Y'all ain't going to have me off, though. I'm going to go see me a white doctor. Let a white doctor diagnose me. Go on and say, Doctor, what the, wrong, what the hell wrong with my black ass? He's going to give me some cream, get lighter. Hate my black skin. That's what you do when you go to the Christian church. I hate my black skin. Man, say I didn't make a fool. I just go to an African, African pissed in a pale church with white Jesus and white angels all around your black ass sitting there. Don't you know you don't belong? I see, this is why you get your ass kicked. You used to go years ago, these old people, they put a sign saying whites only. You know what that meant? Your ass don't belong now. You walking there, you see all that white shit running around them women, your black ass, you know, I don't belong here. I don't belong here. Black people ain't got no sense at all. Same thing they show you don't belong here. They ain't got no better. That's the proud they little African. Still going around this Greek stuff. I'm so tired of my people being stupid. Do not call yourself an African because you show white people you're stupid. Don't do it. They done dumbed us down. And then we started to come back to knowing our identity and learn that we got more strength than what they told us. How of a sudden we mad and crazy and racist. What are they when they shoot us down? When they ever call their own white people raising their gunners down? They play? When you see white come on TV and call it racist? Nigga, the only people sitting around trying to kill white folk ass, trying to show them you still love, even they kill you. Praying for their ass and they shoot me. They shoot you. Either duck or shoot back. Or both. Do the last one first. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. They'll train you to be so passive because you got to look. They make up their laws. They make up everything. And all you got, you live into a system. The white, people, the white people that came out of England were people that were kicked out of England. That they told you they were pilgrims. They've lied to you. The whole, they've always lied to you. They were rebellious. They were disobedient. They were accused of insurrection. They wanted to overthrow government down. And they came here to establish the government. And now you're dealing with their wicked ass kids. Yeah. Nefarious. Who don't know what it means? Raise your hand, let me say it. You know what it means, Sweden? You want to learn what it means? Good. It means evil or criminal. Really wicked. These are words that white people use to throw you off. Nefarious. Crackers are wicked. They're criminal. They're wicked people. 
The people that been that's an L. It's a pretty L. You just don't look like a P. Don't look at it like that. Look at it with an F eyes. Why F you? Now y'all, y'all, now they like that. No. Nefarious. See, we try to, I want to educate y'all. You know what makes me mad? The fact I looked at for years, I let people talk on my head. I was scared to even look it up. You'd be like, you don't want to look dumb. Hey, you are dumb if you don't know what it is. You let people keep saying it to you. I don't know they walk in there and say, yes, the black people, they are nefarious. I'm going to do like this. What you do? So I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> I'm going to kick your ass. They're like, but what? See, they, don't, they know you don't know. They just keep talking over your head and saying stuff. You don't know. You be thinking nefarious. The they say, oh, that mean I go out and I hunt. Because you be thinking your mind, it must mean something. When those white people talk here, you don't know, you need to ask, stop them. What you just say? God, you don't know your ass or say, I just want to know because I'm because the ass wouldn't come with that. Why don't you just say, they, you, they tell you this with Donald Trump's son. They use this, they, they were so smooth. They said if Donald Trump's son did something nefarious, why would the Secret Service there? I'm like, what, nefarious? Who the hell talk like that? In a virus? Look it up. I said, oh, here, they're talking about our head again. White people don't start just using words, just throwing them over your head to make you look stupid. Because they know you ain't smart enough, and they know you listen to talk, you just said it like a dumb ass. You be like, <laughs> first if I don't know, man. I want when when Philip ran up and joined up to the unit, joined to the chair, he read, he has a who this book talking about? This man or somebody else? Because it don't make sense. I'm saying read, he's telling, I don't know what it's talking about. So was he stupid for asking? What we'll do is try to look smart to white people, don't ask questions, just go along with the flow. I just can't go along with it. I got to ask questions. I don't know what you said. What, what was that you said? What you call that? I'm telling you now because I asked women probably come with it. Now I tell you said something you don't know. Just, just start to them. Ask women come with that. <laughs> Isn't that right? Tell them clean it up quick. I'm telling you, that'll break it down. Yeah. Y'all all right. Why you just can't say if he did something criminal or something wicked, something wrong? See, they're going to say it. They say it fast. Throw it over your head and black people don't even question. Just keep moving. You got to start questioning stuff. Yeah. That's my job. I want to question everything they do now. Because I want to make sure I want to pick up, just go back in my mind and think, did I ever hear anybody say that about me? Going to do this. They need to know. An ass whooping come with that. Y'all got to start that button or roll up your sleeve. Yeah. You ain't got nothing but him. Roll it up here like you put some cigarettes in and give him that ass whooping. Y'all all right? Yes, <laughs> just roll them up up here and get that ass whooping. And y'all got them big titties, pull them down. I'm thinking I'm going to be flopping around here when you don't need nothing to let that thing but that side host. Woo! Anyway, come on. All I hear double ring. These are keys are real. And one of y'all said, make sure y'all got your good bra on. Where your son that go to meet bra? Because then they got that bra they got, they don't give a damn about. And then you got your good bra, you put on, you go to church. Or you going to a meet. Ain't that right? That good hostel. Y'all all right? And I'm thinking, hi. I had to get my wife brought me. He had $250. I'm like, the some titty? Man, put that thing in my hand. <laughs> I can't $250? Put that thing in my hand. We be right on the street, just like this. Shit. <laughs> man, man $250? All right, for some titties? You can't lose them bras. Hell, I had a hand wash them. I can't afford to lose them bras, no machine. And that right got to soft wash them. Y'all all right. Them things high. <laughs> Come on. Y'all pray for me now. All I hear, Dabarine 71. Listen. When Yahuwah, thy Allahim, shall bring thee into the land, whither thou goest to possess it, what happened? and hath cast out many nations before thee, yeah. the Hittites and the Girgashites and the Pay Amorites. attention now. What happened? And the Canaanites, uh -huh. and the Perizzites, yeah. and the Hivites, yeah. and the Jebusites, mm -hmm. seven nations greater How many and mightier. Nation? Seven nations more what? Greater and mightier than thou. What happened? And when Yahuwah thy Allahim shall deliver them before thee, yeah. thou shalt smite them and mm -hmm. utterly destroy them. Uh -huh. thou, thou shalt make no covenant with them. And do what? Nor shew mercy unto them. What else? Neither shall thou make marriages with them. What else? Thy daughter, thou shalt not give unto. His bin, yeah. nor his bath, shalt thou take unto thy bin. Nor his daughter shall you take unto your son. What happened? For they will turn away thy bin from following me. So they're going to turn your son from following me. What else happened, son? That they may serve other gods. Mm. Mm. 
Shafatim, Judges. Shafatim, 14 and 1. Beautiful. That's all right. Good to see you there, Tico. The seven is stuck with it. Seven o'clock. Listen, you ain't in the better hour and a half late. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what did he say? Never would have made it. <laughs> all right, go ahead. And Shamshun went down to Timnath what happened? and saw an Asha in Timnath of the Banuth of the Philistines. What happened? And he came up and told his father and his mother what and happened? said, I have seen an Asha in Timnath of the Banuth of the Philistines. What happened? Now therefore get her for me to wife. What happened? Then his Abba and his Am said unto him, What did they say? Is there never an, an Asha among the Banuth of the Aki? Did you do what? Or among all my people that yeah. thou goest to take an Asha of the uncircumcised Philistines? Well, listen, what happened? And Shamshun said unto his Abba, What did he say? Get her for me. She, why? For she pleaseth me well. She made me so tickle. He said, She made me, you know what he said? She made me like Saw Paul. <laughs> then I get tight like Doug Hell. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Listen. But his Abba and his arm knew not that it was of Yahuwah. You gotta pay attention. His Abba and his mother did what? Knew not that it was of Yahuwah. Tell him why, son. That he sought an occasion against the Philistines. For at that time, the Philistines had dominion over Yasharal. That beautiful sin. And you know what the book tell you? Let not sin have dominion over you that you should obey it, nor the lust thereof. Hmm? Romans chapter 6. Six and eleven. Other than you give me the book of um Shumawal. Allah. Shamuwal. We'll play with it a little bit. Let's see what happens. Listen. Likewise, reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto Allahim through Yahusha, Hamashiach, our Adani. Listen. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body. Tell them for what reason, son? That ye should obey it and in the lust thereof. That makes sense to y'all. Why did it make sense to my king? Huh? You said he that sin is circumcised. Well, that's true. He told you about letting not sin reign over you. Letting not sin reign in your body. Well, if you paid attention over him, that's what he was talking about then. He sought an occasion against him. He said because at that time they ruled over him. So he saw the occasion to allow him to go in and get with him and see exactly what happened, that you should obey it and lust the earth. Well, because he lusted, he wanted so much, he wound up giving up secrets from us. When he had taken the honey from out of the, the debauch, from out of the, the lion's carcass, he hadn't even told his Abba or his Am about it. But he told her. So he said, don't let it rain over you. So we had to break away from it. Huh? So it ran north. The lust thereof. Lust is that strong desire for things. A lot of times that strong desire is what will cause us to make the errors we make. When he told us, you do not knowing. Uh-huh. And what happened to Aaron, the son of Yehuda? He died. Why? Folks say he was wicked. He was wicked. He was wicked. Yehuda firstborn, he was wicked. He was wicked in his eye. He destroyed him. And that's what we can't afford to do now, start error when it comes down to Scripture. So we started going over looking. This is for all of y'all of him. All key and all cool. When you come out of what y'all believe, nothing's supposed to change or alter that. Nothing's supposed to change or alter that. You hear what his mother and father told him? They said, we ain't got none among us. That you took one from the strange people. The people reigned over. What's reigning over us now? Why we take a sinner? But we don't consider that Yahuwah got a Cajun salt. 
See, a lot of stuff go deeper than what y'all be looking at. You got to make sure y'all mindful. The book told y'all got to be mindful of the word that was spoken of before by the Nabal. You got to be mindful because you start to go back and look at their errors, and that's what they started doing. They started going back looking at their errors. That was the purpose of going back through the scripture. What, how does it make sense to me? Let not sin, therefore reign. Or what I know about reigning? That's something wrong, having dominion. Well, that's, he told me, well, that's what he told me what happened over him. He had dominion over them. And the lust thereof. We started, he lusted out, he wanted her so bad. He said, she pleasing me because he looked at he wanted her so bad. His lust desire was just so strong to have her that it wound up coming being a hurt to him. That tight end. Come on, let it roll with that. Allah, Shemuel, chapter 4. Shamuel. They'll call it 1 Samuel. Y'all good? Uh. 4 and 1, and I work with we'll, we'll put a call on and walk the dog for everybody. See, I'm about, I'm about to plan a salvation for everybody. Everybody got to be saved. I tell you about when they come out being saved, salvation is an individual feat. It's an individual feat. It's not a husband and wife feat. It's not a feat with children and fathers and mothers. It's an individual feat. Everybody. It's beautiful when husband and wife and kids can all believe and walk together. At the end of the day, it's a self-journey. I can't say it enough. I love my wife, but my wife is not my salvation. If my wife take off and leave, I assure you I will be here doing my job come Shabbat night. If I leave to go after her, may I go to hell. I'm not doing it. Y'all some y'all will do it because you weak. You weak and your heart not in Allahim. Your heart's in Allahim. It's just like when Lot, when Luke came out of Sodom and Gomorrah, he lost his wife. He didn't look, he told he was told not to even look back. Don't even look. Can you do a thing? What what it is? You you the man. Got to stay focused. Got just lost his wife. Got two daughters by herself. This is a self journey. This by my damn self. They come down to South Bay. This is how y'all got to be, everybody. When you come, you sit, you hear. You got to make sure you're hearing for yourself. You can't hear for other people. You hear for yourself. You, this ain't nothing nobody can make you do. It got to be in your heart. I had a meeting with the kid. I told y'all that the Shabbat. What I heard when I came their way, I know what I heard. Had nothing to do with no woman. Had nothing to do with nobody. I know what I heard. And I went to see the man. I told the man I came. I ain't come for no choir. I ain't come for nobody. I can't hear. Worst damn people I've ever heard sing in my life. Worst damn people I've ever heard sing. And their roles were ugly. I didn't want to hear them. I wish they shut the hell up. I just came. I want to hear the word. He said, I'm going to have somebody come by and um, get your pick. I said, I don't need nobody pick me up. I said, I'm coming on my own. I wouldn't let nobody pick me up. I came on my own. I didn't even want to start that. I ain't had no, it wasn't no reason about pick me up. It was a self journey. I was coming from, I know what I had heard. I was coming from my side. I didn't come for nobody to come, nobody come pick me up. I was coming, I know what I heard. I was coming because of what I heard. So when you get that still in your mind, your heart, when people move, when people digress, when people change, whatever, you still got to go back and revert back to what you know. I know what I heard. Y'all got me? Anybody, anybody can move me. I know what I heard. I know what a man put in my heart, regardless of what somebody else do. It ain't in your heart. I, if I sit around, let me see. Every time he said, a son to sit on his throne. See right here, he's saying a son to sit on his throne. Man, take this and go on about your business, man. You be all right. Hey, you see him reading the thing too. The hell I look like trying to explain it to you. Ain't no Nobody explained nothing to me. I'll tell him Bryce about that. I remember I went, I heard that man. He was country. He would lie. He talked real fast. I heard everything he said. You know what it was saying? Man, he talked so country. The man so loud. I was like, that was amazing. Because I heard everything he said. I heard every. It was like. I heard everything he was saying. No matter how fast he was talking, he was like, I could hear it. It was fast enough and slow enough I caught everything he said. Somebody said, I don't know y'all man. The man keep going all over the book. I like, going all over the book. The man was saying what the book said. Yeah. They're like, I, I don't know how y'all do it. It's all, because you got to be purpose in your heart that you want to live right. Yeah. And you get purpose in your heart to live right, then you can follow and you can see. Do like the book said. Hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Feel all of him and keep his commandment. I ain't giving you no commandment. Make sure it's in, if it's his book, just go with that. That's all I tell you. Go with what the book say. Don't go with no opinions. Go with what the book say. We just get so far. Oh, we get to wondering. We get to trying to see what did he mean? What was y'all Christian antics kick in? Because y'all really believe he did what he said. He'll do what he said. He's gonna do. Come on, son. Four and one. Listen. And the Debar of Shamuel came to all Yasharal. What happened? Now Yasharal went out against the Philistines to battle. What happened? And pitched beside Ebenezer. What happened? And the Philistines pitched in Aphek. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the Philistines put themselves in array against Yasharal. And what happened? And when they joined battle, 
Yasharal was smitten before the Philistines. Y'all see what happened? Yasharal was smitten before the Philistines. What happened, son? And they slew of the army in the field about 4,000 Anus. What happened? And when the people were coming to the camp, yeah. the elders of Yasharal said, Do what? Wherefore hath Yahuwah smitten us this yume before what the we Philistines? Gonna do? Yeah. Let us fetch the ark of the covenant of Yahuwah out of Shiloh unto us. What happened? That when it cometh among us, it may save us out of the hand of our enemies. What happened? So the people sent to Shiloh that they might bring from thence the ark of the covenant of Yahuwah of hosts. What happened? Which dwelleth between the cherubims. Listen. And the two Bani of Eli, Hophni, and Phinehas were there with the ark of the covenant of Allahim. Listen. And when the ark of the covenant of Yahuwah came into the camp, all Yasharal shouted with a great shout, so that the Arats rang again. And when the Philistines heard the noise of the shout, they said, What meaneth the noise of this great shout in the camp of the Abarim? What happened? And they understood that the ark of Yahuwah was come into the camp. What happened? And the Philistines were afraid, for they said, Allahim is come into the camp. And they said, Woe unto us, for there hath not been such a thing heretofore. What happened? Woe unto us, who shall deliver us that out of the hand? That war is destruction. They knew. If we get in our proper place, everybody know. It, nobody can deliver them out of our hands. They know we get in our proper place. They know who done came to them. But see, these people have convinced us to become powerless. We are. First thing they teach you to go write your congress. Damn my congressman. Damn my senator. Damn my representative. What are they going to do with me? Take that shit and ball up and throw it in the paper, throw it in the trap like Benny Henry just do with their prayer request. Right, nobody. We call on our Allahim. We call on our Allahim and we stand and do what we're supposed to do. Then he'll fight our battle for us. Oh, God, I said, they got a passive. Went on some damn next election. Come 2020, though, I'm going to be at the polls. Hell, you already been polled, you hoe. Right. Hoeing your ass out for these crackers. Yeah. Straighten your behind up. No black man vote never counted. Why folk get it and make a fool out of you? Our people don't know no better. They done ran them, run them to the damn poll at 18, make a fool out of them. Got your set up register to go do something. You think these crackers, if vote meant something, nigga wouldn't be this far in the hole. You ain't even got a permanent right to vote. Ask these niggas do they have a permanent right to vote. Your shit based on a time period. You had a 40-year amendment that you voted. Your shit temporary. White people don't have that problem. A Mexican, a damn Jap, anybody can come on. A damn Chinaman, anybody can come <laughs> Whatever, hell, they don't make no damn. They're wet back. They don't, make, they don't give a damn. That's right. What they call a damn WAP? Anything can come here, sign up, seven years, and they got a permanent right. You the only one saying your ass got something temporary. Yeah. That's right. You still kissing their ass. Yeah. They ain't got nothing saying go take a gun, go fight for these crackers, lose your damn arm, eyes, and ear, and your ass still ain't got a permanent right to vote. Yeah. They still don't give a damn about you. Yeah. Tell me, give me this gun back, you go fight. That's your shit. Yeah. I'm fighting people I don't even know. Them people don't know. Them people ain't got no problem with you. Go to Kim John Hill, hell, he won't see you shoot ball. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I shoot his head. As long as you ain't gonna blow my ass up, you cool? <laughs> That's all I'm talking about. You good? I guarantee he ain't gonna nod off when he talk. He killing mothers. Yeah. Nigga fell asleep and wanted to hit me. You just talking about him. You were asleep. He went. Mm. Yeah, they he finna kill you. What? I wouldn't sleep. I'm be lying. I would not sleep. I'll put me on a stack of Bible. I would, that man finna kill you. What you finna do? For a shooting squad? I would not sleep. Crawl my hand, hold to die. <laughs> Oh, damn, well, that's crazy. You said, man, shoot you for no, no. <laughs> Call that man no problem. Hell, they gonna talk bad is over there. Hell, it's just as bad over him. Yeah. Hell, you get shot, you get pulled over. Yeah. Tail light out. Yeah. Made us turn and then turn your signal. That thing know your ass hung in the jail cell. What's the difference? Right. People always think of something so bad. Quit repeating stuff white folk tell you. Right. How bad is over here? Hell, how you know your ass ain't never lived nowhere else? Yeah. Oh, we repeat what well, everything you hear niggas say got it from a white man. Yeah. Where your ass lived anywhere else? Right. Listen. Woe unto us, who shall deliver us out of the hand of these mighty Allahim? Jump on down and give me about verse 17. Let's roll this thing on through. Come on, son. And the messenger answered and said, Yasharal is fled before the Philistines. You see that? Yasharal done fled before the Philistines. What else happened? And there hath been also a great slaughter among the people. What happened? And the two Bini also... Hophni and Phinehas are dead, and the Ark of Allahim is taken. Listen. And it came to pass, when he made mention of the Ark of Allahim, that he fell from, from off the seat, backward by the side of the gate, and his neck brake, and he died. Listen. For he was an old man and heavy, 
and he had judged Yasharol 40 years. See, I've been telling you heavy folks ahead a little way. What you gonna do? You gonna fire? Y'all gonna break out of them neck and my flow. Ain't that right? Y'all all right? Y'all gonna kill the worms? Come on, son, jump to the fifth chapter. Come on. And the Philistines took the Ark of Elohim and brought it from Ebenezer unto Ashdod. Listen. When the Philistines took the Ark of Elohim, they brought it into the house of Dagon and set it by Dagon. And when they of Ashdod arose early, arose early on the morrow, what happened? behold, Dagon was fallen upon his face to the Arats before what the Ark of Yahuwah. Yeah. And they took Dagon and set him in his place again. Yeah. And when they arose early on the morrow morning, behold, Dagon was fallen upon his face to the ground before the ark of Yahuwah. What happened? And the head of Dagon and both the palms of his hands were cut off upon the threshold. Only the stump of Dagon was left to him. Listen. Therefore, neither the, neither the priest of Dagon nor any that came unto Dagon's house tread on the threshold of Dagon in, in Ashdod unto this yum. Listen. But the hand of Yahuwah was heavy upon them of Ashdod. What happened? And he destroyed them. Listen. And smote them with emeralds, mm -hmm. even Ashdod and the coast thereof. Listen. And when the men of Ashdod saw that it was so, they said, The ark of Elohim of Yasharal shall not abide with us. Listen. For his hand is sore upon us and upon Dagon our God. Listen. They sent therefore and gathered all the lords of the Philistines unto them. Yeah. And said, What shall we do with the ark of the Elohim of Yasharal? Yeah. And they answered, let the ark of the Elohim of Yasharal be carried about unto Gath. And they carried the ark of Elohim of Yasharal about thither. And it was so that after they had carried it about, the hand of Yahuwah was against the city with a very great destruction. Wow. And he smote the anus of the city, both small and great. Yeah. And they had emeralds in their secret parts. Yeah. Therefore they sent the ark of Elohim to Ekron. Yeah. And it came to pass, as the ark of Elohim came to Ekron, yeah. that the Ekronites cried out, saying, They have brought about the ark of the Elohim of Yasharal to us yeah. to slay us and our people. Listen. So they sent and gathered together all the rulers of the Philistines and said, Send away the ark of the Elohim of Yasharal and let it go again to his own place. What you want to do? That it slay us not yeah. and our people. Mm -hmm. For there was a deadly destruction throughout all the city. The hand of Elohim was very heavy there. Listen. And the Anus that died not were smitten with the emirates. And the cry of the city went up to Shamayim. Yeah. Chapter 6. Come on. And the ark of Yahuwah was in the country of the Philistines seven months. Yeah. And the Philistines called for the Kohan and the diviners, saying, What shall we do to the ark of Yahuwah? Tell us wherewith we shall send it to his place. And they said, If ye send away the ark of the Elohim of Yasharal, Pay attention. Send it not empty. Do what? Send it not empty. Do what? But in any wise return him a trespass offering. That's why when they sent us out of Mizraim, they had to send our way with riches. It was a sign for a trust pad. They trust pad when they taken us captive. We went down into Mizraim to abide with 70, and we came out a great multitude. They even entreated them. They sent us away. That's why they pressed us out, and they had to give us the gold. That's how we got the gold. They had to give it to it. The same thing happening to them today. The same thing y'all don't consider when you give yourselves over this stuff. You wind up making a trust pad with these people. I tell these people all the time, I, 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 I be honest with y'all the way around. When it come down to y'all's soul, and y'all a lot of y'all forget how important your soul is, y'all start dating and doing other stuff y'all get to doing. You get jobs, get careers, start making some money. A lot of y'all can get sloppy. A lot of y'all can get just sloppy. Because a lot of stuff y'all do, you know damn well you ain't got no business doing it. But you get comfortable, you get sloppy, and you don't realize you be a detriment to everything around you. You want to make it crumble down. You do, and you don't realize he'll set you up just to take somebody else down. You think he actually took Yasharal down because he didn't know what was going to happen. He knew they were going to take it. And he knew the easy way to get ready to destroy those people and afflict those people was let it get in their hands. And when they got it, the worst thing they ever got, the worst thing they ever got was getting it. At the book of Yuna. They called it Jonah. Did I do that right? Not an A. Why you in it? One and one. Oh, we're gonna get me Olive Malakin. You gonna call it First Kings eleven. 
my fat for you, get me unity, get me all of Malachi 11 and 1. Listen. But Malak Shalom loved many strange women mm. together with the Baath of Pharaoh, women of the Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Zidonians, and Hittites. What's key about them? Of the nations concerning which Yahuwah said unto the Bani of Yasharal, What happened? Ye shall not go into them, neither shall they come in unto you. For surely they will turn away your heart after their gods. Shalom clave unto these in love. He loved in the damn devil. What happened, son? And he had 700 wives, and? princesses, and 300 concubines. And what did he do? And his wives turned away his heart. Like what? For it came to pass, when Shaluma was old, yeah. that his wives turned away his heart after other gods. Like what? And his heart was not perfect with Yahuwah, his Allahim. Like what? As the heart of Daud, his Abba. Yeah. For Shaluma went after, the, after Ashtoreth, the goddess of the Zidonians, yeah. and after Milcom, the, the abomination of the Ammonites. Yeah. And Shaluma did Rasha in the sight of Yahuwah. He did evil in the sight of Yahuwah. And did what? And went not fully after Yahuwah. See so what to hold you back? So they start talking about these people getting rid of. We start over here trying to tell y'all about them. Hating their mother, hating their spouses, hating their children, hating all these things because he looked at. There's a lot of stuff that keep you from going full after. Now y'all hear them, your love done went cold. Now they be true, but there's a lot of y'all. Y'all know y'all love. How many of y'all honestly know y'all love done went cold? Honestly, that beautiful. Be honest. I know y'all love done went cold. Because y'all let stuff get in the way. It'll be career moves and goals and ambition. It'll be relationships. It'll be family. It'll be kids. It'll be something to pull you. When you come along, you're going through here, you got to keep your mind settled on. You can only go so far. You can only go so far. When he put Yahushua on the two, what did he put on the side of him? Two things. You know they, what they represented? They were barriers. They were to keep him from turning to the left hand or to the right. That's why he put them now. They were buried to keep him from turning. All thing he could do was go forward. That's why he's able to complete it. A lot of y'all, the truth be told, y'all don't remove your barrier. Y'all have, you don't remove them. They ain't nothing to hold you there. He tried to show you that when he had the ass. The ass cut out straight across the field. He'd have cut out you and put them beside him. But when they brought the ass and put him in the way, he said he hedged him in. He couldn't turn to the right or the left. All thing he could do was drop down and go forward. To be told, y'all ain't got no bad. Y'all start putting you, you start removing stuff. You know what your law told you? Don't remove the old landmark. Y'all removed it. If you go back to the landmark, they keep coming back, bringing back to the same thing. He told you when he come back to let you know, he told you at the beginning. He already told you what happened. He said, this is the same thing we told you at the beginning. They're going to turn your heart away. A lot of times y'all don't consider it. When it come out of y'all soul salvation, y'all not honest. Y'all not honest. Y'all more detriment to people than him. They'll let y'all, y'all let people play too long. I teach y'all that. Every one of y'all how to teach y'all that. This ain't nothing new. For what you believe, that primary over any day, anything you got, nothing override what I believe. How are we gonna date and talk? He my almost three and one. Look at that unit. Almost. Amos. It's going to help a lot of y'all out of him. They cut out y'all soul salvation. They're everybody in here. Y'all better know what's, your, what's primary for you now. Y'all know more than people know. Y'all let people do a whole lot of stuff. Y'all be more detrimental than people than people be the young. Because I know where we're going. I know we're going to hell. We die when we right. You ain't got an inkling idea. In your mind, Jesus saved. Jesus a friend in trouble. And they just call on the master of the sea. Master of the sea, the one put your ass in that slave ship. Huh? Call a clansman. I call on Yahuwah. That be honest. I watch y'all. I've been watching y'all folks a long time. It's just like Yahuwah. So it's just like Moshe told you. just like when Yahuwah, when Yahuwah came through the gun. I already knew you were naked. I already knew you were naked. You got to ask. I know y'all naked. And y'all be detrimental because y'all won't stand on what y'all believe to a fault. You stand on with this. A relationship go bad. Whatever I got go, it just go bad because I'm going to be saved. I'm not letting nobody carry me to hell. I'm not going to get altered. I'm not going to deter off from what I believe. I got to be saved. That's bottom line. Y'all will be playing around with people know you. What you believe? What do y'all believe? Y'all don't move fast enough. Y'all slow procrastinate. Y'all hope something magical going to damn happen. Ain't nothing magical. That's witchcraft. 
Y'all got me. It's just like Shaul. Come talk. We ain't use no cunning device fables when we made known unto you this way. We ain't use no nothing cunning device. I tell you the truth. This is what I believe. This is my life. This is my life. What do y'all believe? Listen, almost three and one. Then you're going to give me unit one and one. I'm going to get y'all ready to get out of here. Listen. Hear this debar that Yahuwah have spoken against you. He said, hear that word which he done spoke against you. Listen. O Beni of Yasharal. O children of Yasharal. Tell me what he said. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Mizraim. Yeah. Saying, you only have I known of all the families of the Arats, therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. Can what did it lead y'all to in the epistle writing? What did it put your mind at? I know why I lead them in punishment. That's right. Olive, cough. 4 and 17. You look pretty good. Must be the jacket. One about 16. Allah. They call it first Peter. Then we'll finish this up. Listen. Allah. First Peter 4 and 16. Listen. Yet if any man suffer as a Yehudi, then do what? Let him not be ashamed. Listen. But let him glorify Allahim on this behalf. Listen. For the time is come. For what happened? The time has come. Here it is, old house of Yasharal. That judgment must begin at the house of Allahim. And if it what? First begin at us. Tell them what has happened, son. What shall the end be of them that obey not the debar of Allahim? At three and one of uh, Amus. Listen. Hear this debar that Yahuwah has spoken against you, O Bini of Yasharal. For the time has come. Listen. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Mizraim, yeah. saying, You only have I known of all the families of the Arats, therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. Uh oh. If you're the only one I know, if anybody else come, that will make them second. That will make you first. So it's got to start with you first. It's got to start with you first. Listen. Can two walk together? Except what? They be agreed. Mm. There's a lot of stuff in here y'all agree with. A lot of stuff y'all agree with him. Y'all know y'all do. A lot of stuff y'all agree with. Y'all won't take no stand. Y'all feel like y'all lose everything if you take a stand for what you believe. You don't take a stand for what you believe, you're going to fall for anything. Anything I lose because I stand for living right, hell, it wasn't worth it anyway. That just been a lot of y'all didn't compromise. For the sake of y'all can have, you don't want to be by yourself. You don't realize y'all already by yourself. You try and believe one thing and do another one, you're a hypocrite. You got to be real. What I believe, I believe. I can tell this in a Christian church. I ain't going to get up and tell no amen Jesus. I don't believe in Jesus. It's a lie. Right. I ain't going to nobody's Sunday church either. It ain't going to happen. Right. If I go to Sunday church, it's going to get you out. I'm going to wear Sunday out for you. I guarantee I ain't going to be in there defending. I'm going to be in there weighing it out for you. I'm going to be teaching you all your errors and your ways and how you're going wrong. I'm going to take this book. I'm going to show you what this book said about it and show you this is your error and why you need to get right. I damn sure won't be in there letting nobody teach me. Not no Sunday preacher. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. If too much they do, I don't believe it. The book teach against it. We have the book that they're trying to teach, they already done trained. It don't make sense for me to sit around and listen to it. I'm already wrong there. You got pictures and items up that he done clearly told you. You ain't even supposed to have, but you done it anyway. Got women in here with pants on, lipstick, fingernail, probably like some damn Christian clown. Yeah. Homosexual, in the choir, saying just whole faggot, you women preachers. I don't go along with it, but if I sat there, apparently I'm lying, because the book said, can two walk together except they be agreed? So what have you agreed on? See, this is stuff y'all look at when y'all get in a relationship, a lot of stuff y'all going, you don't agree on something. Oh, I, tell, I know a lot of y'all don't compromise. I know you're naked. That thing right, though. Come on, get that unit for me. Unit, this will help a lot of y'all out of here. A whole lot of y'all here don't do that. Y'all will sell out and keep going. I'm going to say that night Catholic one time. You remember that night Catholic girl? That girl wasn't going to move, was she? She visited and listened. She knew she was a Catholic. She believed in Mary. Believe Mary had a little man. That beastality. <laughs> I 
That's all it is. You sing a beast of Adelaide song. Mary had a little lamb. She shouldn't have. That be on the shishy? She shouldn't have said it. She tried great. Beast of Adelaide. I'm not going to sing no beast of Adelaide song. That beast of Adelaide. You know that all right? I for just teach her. I also, I do want to pop my wife tell me. She said, do you hear what you be saying? You read out like, no. She said, y'all sing the song with me. Roll, roll, roll your boat gently down, down the stream. stream. Merrily, 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 Stop. merrily. It's supposed to be merrily, merrily. We don't give a damn. That's right. Barely, 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 barely. In there, we don't give a damn. That's, That's right. a white folks song. There ain't That's no right. sin. Boy, like you been sin, you said barely. Ain't no salvation. Ain't like I'm going to go to hell. Because I said barely instead of merrily. Ain't that right? Hey, you just rolling down no stream. Get your ass where you going and get on out. I right, nigga get alligator eight. No white folks shit. I ain't got time for all that. That's right. White folks, hey, you saying something you made that say, where are you going down the stream to? That's where a nigga out there just riding around for you. Where are you going? Riding around. I don't be damn riding around. I have no business. You know damn gad be riding around looking. Ain't that right? What do I say? Say, hell, I don't seen enough. I don't seen all the works under the sun. Wherever I go, they're doing the same old shit. Yeah. Man, go to Europe, they ain't no better looking. They stink. <laughs> we don't wash the hand. We say, hey, Master, we ain't got on some rolls. Ain't wash the hand. Why tell you? They got him out of there. He got the rolls out of there with his hand. They got him. I said, look at this hand. Yeah, sat him on the table. The mother nigga would eat out of there. Ain't no no. <laughs> I don't want no roll. Can they feel like their hands because it's white on that side? White people think shit be clean. Yeah. Now, woo, they think it's still clean. They don't even want to smell it. All right, they make a fool out you. Yep. Listen. Now the Yuna, debar. One and one. Now the debar. Of Yahuwah came unto Yuna, the ben of Amittai, saying. Listen. What did he say? Arise. And do what? Go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it. Uh-oh, go and cry against it. Wow. For their wickedness has come up before me. Yeah. But Yuna rose up to flee unto Tarshish from the presence of Yahuwah. Tell him why, son. And went down to Joppa. And he found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid the fare thereof and went down into it to go with them unto Tarshish from the presence of Yahuwah. What happened? But Yahuwah sent out a great wind into the sea. Yeah. And there was a mighty tempest in the sea so that the ship was like to be broken. What happened? Then the mariners were afraid and cried every each unto his God, yeah. and cast forth the wares that were in the ship into the sea, yeah. to lighten it of them. But Yuna was going down into the sides of the ship, and he lay and was fast asleep. Listen. So the shipmaster came to him, and said unto him, What is that? What meanest thou, O sleeper? Yeah. Arise, call upon thy Allahim. That same thing y'all doing here, y'all sleep. Now y'all here sleep. But said, wake down there, what was it? And arrive from what? And the Mashiach gonna give you light. See, then that you walk circumspectly. Now that what was it? You know what a fool is? I already know it wrong I'm doing anyway. But it wise. You probably be redeeming the time. You ain't going to believe what happened. The days are evil. Told you to be not unwise, but understanding what the will of Allahim is. Listen. Arise, call upon thy Allahim. If so be that Allahim will think upon us, yeah. that we perish not. What happened? And they said every one to his fellow. So listen to what they said. Come and let us cast lots. And do what? That we may know for whose cause this Rasha is upon us. Listen. So they cast lots, and the lot fell upon Yuna. What happened? Then said they unto him. Yeah. Tell us, we pray thee, for whose cause this Rasha is upon us. Listen. What is thine occupation, and whence comest thou? What is thy country, and of what people art thou? Yeah. And he said unto them. I am, I am an Abari, yeah. and I fear Yahuwah, Listen. the Allahim of Shamayim, which hath made the sea and the dry land. Yeah. Then were the men exceedingly afraid, yeah. and said unto him, Why hast thou done this? For the Anus knew that he fled from the presence of Yahuwah, mm -hmm. because he had told them. Listen. Then said they unto him, What did they say? What shall we do unto thee, yeah. that the sea may be calm unto us? What happened? For the sea wrought and was tempestuous. Yeah. And he said unto them, do Take me up. Do what now? Take me up. Y'all just keep praying calling on y'all God. Take me up. And do what? And cast me forth into the sea. For what reason? So shall the sea be calm unto you. For I know that for my sake this great tempest is upon you. Everybody was already praying, calling God. I already know you don't answer your God. 
They were already praying in God. That's why he was asleep. Shit, y'all ain't going to get no results with that stuff. Your God don't exist. He ain't going to do nothing. It's, it's ridiculous. I wouldn't even play with nobody to make them think I believe they got a God. A God ain't nothing. It's, fi it's, fi it's fiction, just like the rest of their books are. That's just being honest. What good is it going to do? There's no result coming to the man all he know and let him know. If for my call, the great even came upon you. And the only way it's going to be calm, you ought to let me go. Throw me overboard. See, it's the same thing he look at. We got a covenant with him. He made a covenant with us. It's bad when y'all leave the covenant to try to get with people and try to get relationship and try to get a job, try to get career status, try to keep your kid. You don't wind up losing them anyway. Or what could wind up losing your own life? See, it's just time for everybody to come back and just look at what we're doing. The stuff you're doing is actually nefarious. It's evil and it's criminal. We need criminal because it goes against our law. Why y'all here know you're criminal? You're nefarious. Y'all all right? Uh, See, now when we learn better, what we do? We do better. We do better by making sure our first, our first requirement, our first desire need to be for everybody here. You need to start loving it with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, all your strength. Y'all got me? And this is why a lot of y'all guys are messed up. They're why you still here behind. They're why no progress is coming for you. And the little you get going to get worse and worse for you. But the fact though, the stuff you got is drawing you off. Y'all ain't trying to explain it and justify it. I ain't trying to explain that ain't no good to me. Don't make no sense. I ain't got to justify it. You got to get away from it. You got to do what you've been told to do. That's our soul on the line. Everybody your soul on the line. Do y'all really know what that means? Your soul on the line. A lot of y'all say it. They don't believe it. Though. Don't worry about it. I know y'all don't believe it. Everybody here don't believe that. How many of y'all know everybody here don't believe that? I know everybody here don't believe that. Y'all don't believe it. You don't believe you could die in an instant. When you die, after that, all you got is judgment. You got to meet a man that's going to judge you according to that book. But you don't know the book. Then for those of you that know it, you say you playing around when you know the man going to judge you by the thing written in the book. Y'all got me. You know you come up short on too many errors. When you offend him one, he say you guilty. How many? And you're going to die with that. You wouldn't die and take a chance on me and him that he's going to grab on a curry like Jesus said. That's what they done told you. White people done told you that. Everything these folks done told you, you've been believing. White people done told you, you ain't never read and knew for yourself. People been telling you stuff. This is the first time a lot of people ever seen me. I just got a phone with a guy. He said, you know what? He said, the first time I ever seen somebody right now, what they doing? He said, the first time I seen it. When people write it, I said, I want you to go check behind me. See if I'm lying. And your soul, you can't afford nobody to just tell you nothing no more. Prove all things. Hold fast to that which is good. And the very all of him of peace sanctify your holy. That's W-H-O-L-L-Y, not W-O-L-I. No Hindu goddess. I know y'all thinking, why well, don't give them a Y, give them an I. That's a Hindu goddess. White people been playing you the whole time they got you here. Now you got to go back and look at these people and say, you make up these words, you give them definition, and these definitions are clearly different than what they've told you. They don't say here and told you Lucifer meant the devil, your stupid ass. <laughs> Lucifer don't mean no devil. They never meant no devil. White people don't told you that means light bearer, right. shining one. Right. Oh, lying ass people. He ain't never gave no devil no name Lucifer. Right. He ain't never been no shining one. Right. Books say he transformed himself into a malachi of light. The malachi of light would be like the stars. Right. Those the suns. The star, the smaller element. He can't sit here and emulate no Mashiach. Right. Man, people just dumb as hell. Just dumb. White people tell you anything. His Aubrey name would be Halal. Halial. The light bearer. The shining one. Don't ask him, how have thou fallen? Oh, Halial. Son of the morning. Ain't it one sun, one element shining in the daytime? Isn't that right? I sat there and told you that lie. Tell me he said he was going to be over God. Yo, stupid ass. Yes, Never told you what you've been reciting for these crackers. Yes, Pick it up right quick. Yes, Yahoo 1411. Before I go. Fourteen and eleven. Yes, sir, Yahoo. That's Yahuwah being exalted. Isn't that right? I mean, sorry, the salvation of Yahuwah. The salvation of Yahuwah. 14 and 11. Listen to the book. Thy pomp is brought down to the grave. So when did the devil go to the grave? 
Tell these people to tell you. Tell them, ask your dumb ass pastor to tell you when the devil went to the grave. Yahushua went to the grave. Brilliant display is the pump. Listen. And the noise of thy vials. Listen. The worm is spread under thee. And what happened? The worms cover thee. Listen. How art thou fallen from Shamayim, O Haleol, yes. Ben of the morning. Just call him son of the morning. What sun do you see in the morning? The stars? Hold what you got. Show your stupidity. Second Corinthians chapter 11. Since I'm up here. Other one, so I got to clear this up, prove this out. Get me um, by the sheet. By the sheet, chapter 37. 37. Jump down and give me about six. I'm going to clear that up for him. Now, y'all just heard what he told him. Where you left out, 4 and 12? 14 and 12? Or 13? Oh, yes, Yahoo. 12. 12, whole 12. Let's walk the dog. Put a call on it, son. Let's go to work. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 9. Then I want to get by the sheep 37 and 6. So these niggas ain't smart. I don't care how many degrees they got. I don't care how much bro, how many words they can spare. All I got to get in them up, any argument I can win. All I got to tell me they mama. That's right. They're going to be so big. He said my mama. I said it twice. Your mama. Now, they can sit there trying to figure out why I said their mama. They don't forget the question. I won. Listen. I just won. Cause he's trying to figure why I said somebody's mama. And he don't know if it's say somebody's daddy next. Because that's who married his mama. Huh? Listen. And when I was present with you and wanted, I was chargeable to know each. Listen. For that which was lacking to me, what like happened, he, son? which came from Macedonia, supplied. Listen. And in all things, I have kept myself from being burdensome unto you. Listen. And so will I keep myself. Listen. As the amount of Mashiach is in me. Yeah. No east shall stop me of this boasting in the regions of Achaia. Listen. Wherefore, because I love you not, Allahim knoweth. What happened? But what I do, that I will do. You know what they want me to do? They want to know. Why should them do what he do? You hear me, nigga? Your mama. They said, why he do what he do? That was shy. He said, what I do, I'm going to keep doing it. For what reason, son? That I may cut off occasion. A favorable opportunity from who? From them which desire Who occasion. desire a favorable opportunity to do what? That wherein they glory. They want to be found like who? They may be found even They'll as They'll try to go get a boy, try to get reader. They want to be like me so bad. They want to be like me so bad. Isn't that right? But I live a clean life. None of these sisters. None of them in here out here say, I don't try to have sex. We'll pick them up and give them a phone now. None of these kids in here out here say, I try to have sex. And damn sure now one of these niggas been out said. Because an ass whooping come with that. Matter of fact, two scoops. You think it raising brand, that's two ass whippings. Isn't that right? You got to get two. Y'all like that? 960, 999,000. But. 542 more of them. I had a million of them. Listen. For such are false apostles. This is what he said now. For, su for such are false apostles. Deceit for who? Workers. Transforming themselves into the apostles of Mashiach. And no marvel. For Satan himself. Pay attention. For who now? Satan himself. Did he say Lucifer? For Satan himself. Halion? Satan himself. For Satan himself. This is what he did. Is transformed. Into a malachi of a malachi of what of our ur. A malachi is a messenger. And what? So is it a what now? Therefore, it is no great thing. If his who sharath also be transformed into who as the sharath of Sadiq. So they try to mimic us. He never tried to mimic Allahim. I don't know where they got it from. Hold you got EU. Let's just see how it works. Now I got to prove all this out. Let's see what it says. Like. EU. EU 2 and 1. I'm going to prove this thing out. I'm going to stop somebody's mouth. Let these folk quit telling these lies on the man. They ain't, you ain't qualified, just stop it. Let somebody handle who qualified. It don't even make sense. For you to be so dumb to walk around and say the man was talking about the devil, you're stupid. Let's see what he told. This is EU. They're going to call it the book of jobs. 
Too many niggas unemployed. Get the book of jobs, nigga. Get to work. EU, two and one. Let's see what he told you. Listen. Again, there was a yum when the Beni of Allahim. Listen, the sons of Allahim did what? Came to present themselves before Yahuwah. Pay attention. The Malachi of Yahuwah came to present themselves. Well, before Yahuwah. And tell them what happened. And Satan came also among them. To among present. them. He came along with the rest of the stars. People just stupid. By the sheep. 37 to 6. Let's go ahead and classify them. Man, so elementary. I don't know if people waste their time. Got still stupid ass people waste their time trying to, yeah, I want to talk to you about you saying, uh, Jesus was the devil. I didn't say that then, but I'm telling you, hell yeah, he the devil. <laughs> <laughs> he the devil. That, that's damn right. There it is. You ain't got to replay. I said that, the, the, the damn right. <laughs> and an ass whipping coming with that. Isn't that right? Well, he's just not Holly all. These people so stupid. I would bring why they taught her talking about the devil. Show you, but it don't even make sense. This is what he told. This he, is the 37th chapter book of Battle Sheet. Um, chapter 37, verse 6. Listen to the book. And he said unto them, What did he say unto them? Here I pray you this dream which I have dreamed. Listen, which would be okay, it would be a dream. That is correct. Listen. For behold, we were binding sheaves in the field. And what happened? And lo, my sheaf arose. And what happened? And also stood upright. And what happened? And behold, your sheaves stood round about and made obeisance to my sheaf. Do so you hear that? The rest of them all sat here and they made obeisance unto him. They all sat here and worship him. Listen. And as Zacchaeus said to him, What? Shalt thou indeed reign over us? Even they had enough sitting over them, man. That meant you're going to reign over us. Listen. Or shalt thou indeed have dominion over us? Listen. And they hated him yet the more for his dreams and for his dabarim. Listen. And he dreamed yet another dream. And what happened? And told it his Aki and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more. What happened? And behold, the sun and the moon. Uh oh, the who? The sun and the moon. And who else? And the eleven stars. Did what? Made obeisance to me. What happened? And he told it his Abba and his Aki and his Abba rebuked him. What did his Abba and say? And said unto him, what is this dream that thou hast dreamed? Like what? Shall I? Which is the sun. And thy arm. Which is the, ya, the um, Yarak. Which is thy, the word for moon. And thy Aki. Which are the stars. Do what? Indeed come to bow down ourselves to thee, to the Arats. Now the book just said that Satan transformed himself into a Malachia light. To one of the suns, which will represent the star. You just heard that from Barashit. The suns, plural, never represented the literal single light. It represented the multiple lights. That's what he transformed himself. So you are an idiot and your mama for telling you that this book was talking about the devil. Your mama. Come on, son. Let's go back and let's look at what he said. Yes, Yahoo 14, so I can get this out of the way. Yes, Yahoo 14, verse 12. I can get y'all out of him. I had hit that for somebody to watch me, thinking they smart. Why do people waste their time? It's so elementary. They still wrestle with this stuff. Yes, see y'all who 14 and 12. Listen. How art thou fallen from Shamayim? Oh, who? Haliol. Haliol. Listen. Ben of the morning. Son of the morning. Now tell me when you can see some regular stars out in the morning. That's how stupid you are. Of the morning? When do you see a star in the morning? Stupid ass. That's the sun. Listen to what he said. How art thou cut down to the ground? Wow. Because if you would have read the law, if you read in the book of your Ukanon, you called John, they clearly came to him and told Pilate them that they had to cut him down because the Shabbat was coming. When was the devil cut down? They're so damn stupid. They read the 12th chapter of the book of Kazon. It said he was cast down. Yahushua, they had to cut him down. When was the devil on a tree? Stupid ass. That thing rang out. Let me do it. Stupid ass. Yeah. Stupid ass. Yeah. Stupid ass. Yeah. Stupid, 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 stupid ass. Yeah. That's right. All they got to do is prove when the devil was on a tree. Yeah. That's right. Listen. Which didst weaken the nations. Yes. 
for thou hast said in thine heart, listen, I will ascend into Shamayim. I'm going to ascend into Shamayim, which they're going to kind of call the heavens a Greek word. And do what? I will exalt my throne above the stars mm -hmm. of Allah. Now, this is what the lie they told him, that the devil said he's going to be over God. He didn't even tell you the stars would be the suns. He just told you, I'm going to be over the, over the Malachi. I'm going to be over the star because the sun is the greater light. It rules over the other elements. So right. stupid ass. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I called him the sun. He just told you, I'm going into the Shamayim. When the sun is up, it blocks out all the other lights. Yeah. That's right. Damn people stupid. How the devil don't try to do that when he just came looking just like the other ones? That's right. I like to say, you're going to need a teacher. Listen to what else he said. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation. In what side? In the sides of the north. Because the north gate is the gate of Yehuda. The north gate is the gate of Yehuda. That's why he's going to sit in the side of that. Because he's going to be the malak of Yasharal and the malak of the Yahudin. They stupid ass. Yeah. Yeah. People so dumb. They don't even know what that means. They think you're going to sit in the damn North Park and make kids for, make toys for white kids. Damn yourself. That's right. Listen. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. Wow. Tell them what you're going to do. I will be like the most high. They ain't here like. They dumb ass heard he's going to be over him. Like similar. Huh? What's our word? Homogeneous. Exact. Exact is what he just told you. He never would have told you be over. That don't make sense. Come on, son. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell. Listen. To the size of the pit. Yes, that's to the grave. That's why the white folk mess up. White folk train it is they put hell in him, make you think he was down there burning. That's, just, that's why they believe it's the devil. See, white people play semantics with words. Now he just someone be brought down to hell. Oh, he was talking about the grave. He just told him you in the grave, worms cover thee. All this stuff sit beneath thee. He was talking about this man being in the grave. Listen. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee. When was this, when was this proven? When he was on the tube because he was naked. The book says when they walked by, they wagged their heads. They would turn their heads because he was naked. They didn't want to look at no naked man. All the old gay ass niggas now. Yeah. Queer eye for the straight. Got a hell of a man straight. Look at him. Got a queer dressing him for. I'm going to put some damn sugar bridges on. Be like, man, it cold. I'm going to cut all the ass cheeks out your pants. <laughs> Ain't no damn quill pick no pants out for me. That's right. Damn zipper going to be tore up. Yeah. Yeah. What a, what a sister going to give you. Thread, barely holding at your ass. First squat, blah. <laughs> no good way to let no sister pick your clothes out. No, man, them sissy can dress. That's a sissy. You know, I'm into no homosexual. He dressed sissy. He smells sissy. Yeah. He sleep with other sissies. That's right. Don't tell me you sleep with sissy. You a damn sissy. Listen. And consider thee saying, is this the ish that made the arise? Tell me when the devil was a man. Is this the man? They did what? Made the arats to tremble. So tell me when Yahushua was on the two when he cried out, what wound up happening? Earth wound up trembling. So tell me when the devil made the earth tremble. That's how stupid they are. When did the devil ever make the earth tremble? Listen. That did shake kingdoms. Listen. That made the arats as a wilderness and destroy the cities thereof. Yes. That opened not the Beth of the prisoners. Yes. All the Malachim of the nations, even all of them, lie in glory, every one in his own Beth. Yes. But thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch, and as the raiment of those that are slain. Oh, my goodness. So tell me when the devil was cast out, out of the grave. Yahushua was the only one. It just told you how he got up. He was snatched out of the grave so bad, it was like he was an abomination for him to be there, and it was. Because in three days he had to be out. That's why I told you he had to be cast out. Tell me when the devil had on clothes of one that was slain. Yahushua the only one slain on the two. Hey, this is what don't make sense. Tell your dumb ass ignorant preacher to tell you when the devil was cast out. Cast out of the grave, not out of the kingdom. That's how they're so stupid. They don't know up or down. Right. Dumb ass. Yeah.
your stupid ass. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful.